comedians here. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna record this because I gotta step away and I wanna be able to hear what you while I'm gone. So we're not gonna say anything interesting, don't worry. Oh, okay. Well I'm recording in there. Um the only two other Canadians I see here are um oh he's gone. Where did he go? Huh, he left. Oh, Larry and Abby, you're Canadian too, aren't you? Yep, my dad is, but he doesn't live in Canada right now. Oh. What other nationality are you? Uh, American. American. Oh. Larry. You know a little better, Abby? Uh, what? You've been gone the past couple of weeks. Oh yeah, well, last week I was gone because I was uh, traveling. Um, ah, okay. The week before I was gone because I just gotten my booster shot and was not feeling very good right after the booster shot. Um, yeah, yeah, the booster shot can kind of kick the crap out of you sometimes. Yep. Jeez, I got all three shots and all I got was a sore arm. That was it. Pretty... Well, the first two I had Pfizer and I didn't have any reaction, but the um, the third one I got was Moderna and I had a little bit of reaction. It was mostly like uh, feeling very uncomfortable and oh. a little bit of a headache, but not not really um, and being very tired. Yeah, I had to be okay after it because I had to drive, so it was like... Alexa, stop. Well, if you uh, if you had any symptoms within you know an hour or two, uh, that was either psychosomatic or uh, hallucinogenic. Yeah, it was not an hour, <laughs> within an hour or two. It was like, um, I think the next day. Yeah, basically. for me it was the next day. I had like a hundred and one fever before I went to oh. bed and just felt crappy. And then the next morning, totally fine. Did, did anybody see in JAMA yesterday the report <laughs> that in the trials, something like 42% of people in the placebo group had adverse events, no SIBOs, mostly mm -hmm. headaches, things like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> um, the uh, placebo effect is incredibly strong. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if what I had was a placebo effect, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it was actually from the, the vaccine. So. So nothing would surprise you. Correct. Well, growing a uh, a plant out of the top of your head, <laughs> that should surprise you. Why? <laughs> I mean, it happens. <laughs> I, you, you can see the evidence right in front of your eyes, Leonard. Yeah, well, I, I, I suspect that there may be some high-tech chicanery going on here. No. Yeah. Even your skepticism. Yeah. Uh, it's a combination of my skepticism and my computer background. And maybe yeah, how you Zoom chat. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've, 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 yeah, and I've done some pretty strange things to myself on Zoom. So, Abby, if I'm in your group, do I have to do that too? If you want. Oh, no, I'd rather not. But. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll wear the glasses or whatever. I mean, as as you can see, it's uh, it's uh, pretty trivial to do some Our really maybe. strange things to yourself. Yes. Ah, it's a monster. Oh, like, monster, monster! I'm a strange kind of guy, so. Well, when you have plants sticking out of your head, your kids make uh, drawings. My kids make drawings of you. And they're the best drawings. <laughs> yep. Do any of you guys play uh, much in the way of video games? <laughs> what yeah, what are know. those? <laughs> What's a video no, no. game? I just got I just got hired for a <laughs> great for a great gig in a in a in a few weeks. They uh I don't know which one it is. It's the what Final Fantasy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So they have these traveling concerts, you know, where they, yeah. they put up, they put the uh, video up on the screen and the orchestra plays that and they're, they're a real hoot because the, the, the people in the audience are totally whacked and, uh, and it's, uh, 
and did it's you, good fun. Uh, did you get a choir for it? Uh, if I remember, because I've done this before, I think they do. I think, yeah. I think for those things, they do have a choir. choir. One Winged Angel, because that's very famous and everybody yeah. always wants to hear it, and especially yeah. at a Final Fantasy thing. No, I, in fact, I'm sure they do, because we've had yeah. it before. And yeah, they, those are, they're just, so, and the music is fantastic. You so, know, Jeff, so, Jeff, yeah. what do they acquire? I mean, acquire, C H O U I R. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> just be got smart ass. Okay. <laughs> they acquire, they acquire, they acquire, 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 acquire. Deal, sometimes chocobos, you know. You have to acquire a lot of things in Final Fantasy. Yes. I've only played Final Fantasy 7, although I couldn't couldn't beat Sephiroth at the end. Because yeah. Did you at least get to hear the music? Yes. Okay, good. Then that that's the most important part about that boss fight, I think. Yes. If you if you heard the music, you got the best part. Yeah. They've also done concerts for uh, Legend of Zelda music yep. as well. I yep. think those two. So I've done the done the Zelda, but the best one is uh, Bugs at the Symphony. Bugs yeah. Bunny. Well. Yeah. And what's um, what's Opera Doc? Well, they we we, we play that. You play there. Kill the Wabbit. All it, it's the whole it's it's hysterical that that concert is so much fun to play because it's like you, you put your you tighten your seatbelt and you hold on because for two two and a half hours whatever it is it's non-stop lunacy literally lunacy and and um, you know just all the stuff and it's all it's all standard repertoire but played at yep. hypersonic speed and <laughs> and and it, even the conductor says don't worry about playing all no just have a good time and boy is it fun you know and it's we did just go through all these cartoons and play all the yeah. is it with fritz stalling or whatever it is the um you know the the arranger and stuff it's just Carl great stalling. Carl, yeah carrie it's good to see you back again haven't seen you in a while oh, thanks yeah it's good to be back yes no problem thanks no, I, I always love the Nintendo concert, like Nintendo Final Fantasy, those kinds of concerts when they come through town, because they'll yeah. usually do some pretty special stuff. Um, I remember I, one I, that my yeah. one of those that my uh, that, that my dad um, did and got uh, I got to go see. It was so cool because they had all these famous um, composers. Like at one point, they had Koji Kondo, yeah, to to um, do some do something, and they kept like announcing these people's names. And I had no idea who any of these people's names are, but like the entire audience goes wild when they say these people's names. Uh, and it was just really cool. Yeah. Hey, can I ask a question? Days. Lori, Lori, yeah. Lori, is it okay if I trade you to fourth? Ooh. Or third? Third. Third? Oh, I get tired. How about third? Third, yeah. Okay, thank you. I have to be third? That's okay, I can do it. Just stay up that late. So anything, anything for you, Susan? Oh, you're just the sweetest spy. <laughs> um, That's why I'm missing Tyworth because I'm sweet. There's maybe four or five things left at uh, Stan's old place. They're extremely heavy. One thing we think is for the boat. And there is more to explain about. Oh, it's, it's a mess. They finally got... Uh, Finally got funding for the funeral home. It finally came through. Oh, good. So yeah. So now we're just waiting for one of his daughters to come to Canada. So right. Yeah, that's uh, it's amazing that she's coming here. So. Well, yeah, during a pandemic, particularly. Yeah. Well, they got to see. It. She has to get tested right yeah. before mm -hmm. she gets on the plane. So we're gonna. We're is there see. still is is there still a pandemic? <laughs> yeah. Sadly, yes. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, well, my brother's okay. been complain complaining complaining because every time they they fly to the states, they've got to get <clears throat> they got to get tested, and they got to get tested to come back into Canada. <clears throat> so they spend the forty dollars, whatever it is, they have to spend to get the test, and they said they never get asked when they come to the border. Or I think it's coming into the states. They did. They have to get. They have to get tested. 
and and they never get asked. So I don't know. It's really weird. Um, what do you find weird about the U.S. not taking this seriously? <laughs> well, I don't. I haven't. He hasn't been able to figure out whether it's the U.S. or Canada that wants him to do that. I, I have no idea. I, but I can't imagine they want you to have a test to get out. So yeah. Well, they don't want the secret um, special top top secret sure. espionage version of Canadian COVID to uh, sneak out. I also discovered that um, whoever designed the uh, Air Canada's check-in feature um, did not, uh, if, for the, the, the feature where you submit your vaccine proof, did not update it to take into account boosters. Because when it, both going there and going back, when I submitted my official Ontario um, document saying that I have gotten three shots, it said, this is not accepted. But when I submitted a, um, a picture that I took on my phone of the receipt I got for my second shot, it accepted that. Well, well that, because they have an that, that proves it. QR code. We just wanted to keep you in America a little bit longer. Yeah, that's what it was. We we're like, yeah. why should we let him go back to Canada? He should be here among yeah, us. Canada is horrible place to come to. It is. No. <laughs> I want to go. There's there's a lot of different places in Canada. Some are better than others. I've heard that. I've heard there are places in Canada that are different from each other. Yep. Some places they speak a lot of French. I can't well, imagine being any farther it, north it, than I am now. It sounds French to uh, to Americans, but it doesn't sound French <laughs> to the speak, French. They're speaking Canadian English, and we just they're can't talk. Canadian French. They're speaking Quebecois. Quebecois. Yeah, which is different from the real French. French so. Oh, don't say that to someone from Quebec. Oh, I mean, their their French. Don't is worry, I, I won't. Their oh. their French their French is not French like our English is not English. I mean, yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> don't tell oh, no, French. it's it's oh, much more than that. I don't tell a Frenchman that. No, it actually actually it really isn't much more than that. And they'll tell you they learn they learn French French in school. Uh, they uh, French, French, but the dialect's a little different. But that's no different than yeah than with English. They have good food in Quebec. I would it, again depends on where in Quebec. <laughs> I don't really no. love French food. Sorry, guys. Poutine is amazing. We went to La Banquise now, when we that, a couple that of summers ago. Canadian. You know poutine. what? Growing up, I had never heard of poutine. I spent three years in Quebec City. I never once saw poutine. I swear they just invented well, it. Yes, um, it was invented in Quebec. Yes, I only heard it from. From yeah. trivia, that's the only time I've ever heard it is when you guys start talking about it on trivia. I've never heard of it's the word. Very good. But how long? How long oh, ago? Okay. Because it was it, it, it was, was it was back in the eighties. Like it was not. It's not like a. It's not like a like a, a dish from like way back when. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, when I was, I mean, really growing up, anything you pretend it wasn't a thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It was invented in Quebec. It was invented in the late 1950s in Centre de Quebec region. That's yeah. according to Wikipedia. Oh, this right. is a good example of the Mandela right. effect. Mandela effect here. Two different memories of the same <laughs> event. It's also uh, in. No, it's not even the same yet. event. <laughs> but it is I very knew. good. Cheese curds are the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> Cheese curds. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've, I've been obsessed like, with cottage cheese lately. Like. I'm so glad people hate it because it's in the grocery store. Well, everybody's buying the milk and bread because we're supposed to get three inches. Oh yeah, yeah I heard that. I was talking to- Oh people. my God, it took me an hour oh, to get through the one grocery store and Target. I know a lot of guys would love to have those three inches. So it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was ridiculous. Like, I'm, Ramirez like, can you go get me some mint? And I go and I have this one package of mint and I can't go in the self checkout line because there's like 50 people in that one. Ooh. And I'm just talking to my mom going, they think shit's going to happen. And it's not because <laughs> we're right on that line where it's either rain or snow. Yep. We wow. were supposed to get three to six. 
like last weekend and you know so the grocery stores were just like you couldn't even find a cart when you walked into the store because everyone was there and it, we hardly got mm -hmm. any snow yeah st louis you just say the word snow on tv and everyone goes to the grocery store <laughs> well, see, in our snow see it's and it started it's supposed to change over to snow in maybe about three or four hours but it's raining right now so with us it's always a layer of ice and then there's snow and everybody from up north thinks they know how to drive in this crap. And we're like, have fun. Nope. Oh. <laughs> that's the most dangerous kind when you have the ice hidden mm -hmm. beneath, you know. The, and that's the all we get here. Yeah. On the very I, rare. I thought when you said the most dangerous kind, I thought you were talking about hubris. <laughs> yeah. At least no, hubris, any, is, uh, hubris is always harmless. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that'll be our team name. <laughs> hubris is always harmless so susan you're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah. gotcha bob hmm? susan did you ever figure out your uh video editing software issue <laughs> yeah but i had i've, I've had to use two different uh, i used one and then i said okay fine that did everything i wanted to do now i went over to the other and did it on it and did the rest of it on a different one it was like I don't it's either so complicated or it's so basic that it doesn't have the the things I want to be able to do. It's just I'm done. I hope I don't have to do a video again for a while. So I'm just like, I don't know. It's awful. Awful. Awful only. Awful, awful, waffles. Well, I'll tell you what's awful is in our building, the elevator is out. Both elevators. Oh. Well, they have one working elevator, and the only way that it'll work is if people go into the parking level and then it will go up. <laughs> Please tell me you're oh. not on the second floor. <laughs> I think some of these elevators are possessed. <laughs> I'm fortunate. I live on the second floor, so I can take the stairs up. So how many floors does the building have? Eight. Oh, so good. eight floors. Oh so, yeah. So Great. I have to move stuff in on Sunday and we'll either gonna go in in the parkades and park somewhere in there and then move the stuff in or park in the upper parkade outside and then i don't know carry the stuff up the stairs but are, are I, any, su I suggest teleportation are any of you guys are any of you guys familiar with a shabbos elevator i know uh leonard you'd know are any of you guys yeah. uh, you know, I heard like, about so, this, yeah. Because yeah. I have a like I have a friend who moved into you know in 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 Chicago moved into an apartment building and she's like on the 18th floor and popcorn and uh, what she didn't realize is that the majority of the people in that that building are Orthodox Jews. So one of their two elevators is oh uh, on Saturday is a Shabbos elevator. It stops at every floor so that you don't, don't have, have to, to press, press the, button. the button. Yes. Oh, how oh, so, Because pressing the button is what needs work. to work to get you from floor yeah. to floor. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Well, as long as you're not doing it, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> then you get the Shabbos Goy to come in and press the button yeah, the, for you. The rule isn't against work getting done. It's, it's against fun. you doing the work. Right. So when I had my neighbors, I was a Shabbos Goy for my neighbors, asked me to come to their house to do things. Weren't they doing work by asking me to come to the house to do That's things? That's not work. <laughs> <laughs> Talk, talking, talking to people is not work. Oh, God. Uh, Besides, they ask you ahead of time. <laughs> Would they, they really ask, ask you to come over and, like, open a can or something? I mean, no. Yeah. I mean, that would be, no, that's too much effort. No, we shut the stove and stuff like that, yeah. There, there are very specific things that are considered work. Like lighting a fire, which was ruled and, over to and and the very specific set of rules depends on which rabbi you ask. Yes. So they have they have like like uh, kitchen appliances now that you can like wave your hand over and the stove will come on. Or are you tying them? Than flipping a switch. Are you tying well, them? Isn't that one of those? If you wave your switch. hand over it, isn't that work? No. No. Because you're depends not. On, I was depends surprised. on which rabbi you ask. Yeah. There's yeah, a I whole TikTok like where people talk about their Shava stuff. I was oh, and if it's on TikTok, 
it and the toilet paper true. was torn. I went, in, I went into someone, I was visiting people when I was in Israel and in the bathroom, they had a basket and the toilet paper was torn like in four, four square yeah. sections in a basket because right. they don't tear the don't toilet tear paper. It. Yeah. You also can't use a towel. It up. I found that you can't, you can some people, I turned out you cannot wipe yourself when you, so you don't take a shower or go swimming. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to go watch Fiddler on the Roof now. Thanks. I love Fiddler on the Roof. That's Come my favorite on. musical. I love that musical. The I best thing it. though, I found, is, I think. Not a lot that, of Shabbos Goy discussions in Fiddler on the, the Roof. The best thing though, is that there's a procedure or something that um, Leonard could probably correct me on how this works, but if you could like somebody in your community puts like a string around your entire oh yeah neighborhood. the neighborhood there's a name for that and what's the name then the you can carry things yeah. in there thank you they do that wow. in new york oh. yeah i've seen those they they put them and if the it breaks if the new string york. breaks mm. everything stops until somebody they bring in the special crew of people to put the string back on mm. i just yeah. no no sorry you guys that's this beyond hi jamie jamie's here hi jamie hi. Hey guys, how are you? It's great to see you all the way from Thailand, everybody. Ooh. Yes. Yay. Thailand. Friday. Caspian, Caspian's how, are, how are things tomorrow? Yes. How are things tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the weather? Oh, what's the weather? How was your tsunami warning? Didn't you guys what's have the... a tsunami warning? Oh, no, that was in... Um, that Tonga? didn't affect you guys? Okay. That's, no, that's in uh, New Zealand. We're... Totally far away from. We had weather. it in California. Yeah. We had our like a little bit of tide stuff. I know, I but they it. warned us. They warned us in California. We had all the beaches closed. Yep. In Puget Sound, they yeah, had. In Oregon, yeah, same in Washington. And 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 he's in Thailand, and it didn't affect him. Yeah. No, no, where was the epicenter? Tonga. 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 Didn't it bypass Washington? Orlando, Florida. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Just re ridiculous, people. Just ridiculous. The only place well, there's, they there's, own there's no large, there's no really large expected. block of land between Tonga and California, but there is between Tonga and Thailand. Thailand. Okay. Oh, tremendously, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We got so what alert. was the largest wave height that the anyone in saw? Seattle. And we anyway. have a pretty well much. in other in other islands okay. in Tonga, um, it uh, you know obliterated places. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, but in, well, I mean, besides damage. local across in, the in, ocean. In, in North America, I think yeah. the largest wave was a few inches. Uh, uh, I don't uh, think so. I think in, uh, Fort Orford had. Who? Sorry. Yeah, three feet in Puget Sound. Three feet. Yeah. Oh, that that, that must Puget? have got that must have gotten funneled. Interestingly. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it came well, up funnel. quite a ways into some of the channels, and I think there was some damage in Port Orford. Yeah, yeah. In um, along, I know that uh, around here, uh, in Santa Cruz, uh, right. it was less than a foot, if I remember correctly. But after the uh, uh, Japanese er uh, earthquake, that uh, did you see the videos of the damage to the uh, boats in the Santa Cruz Harbor? Then, yeah, yeah, it was pretty devastating. It was. It was. The videos are amazing because yeah. it. It was quite slow right um but absolutely inexorable right uh water just went up and up and up and mm -hmm. down it was yeah. uh yeah. it was really we quite had, quite amazing we had to evacuate at the farm for that because we're just right on the flat practically right out to the ocean and my sister has a dog boarding and grooming kennel so she had customers dogs in the kennel and she loaded every one of the customer's dogs and all of her dogs and some chickens and went up on the hill mm -hmm. <laughs> and stayed for about three hours till wow. they decided it was going to be all clear. Mm -hmm. Jeez. That's amazing that it had to have that happen. I'm gonna... Well, the, the biggest um, tsunami here was in Phuket. A number of years ago, I mean, oh thousands, God, thousands of died. and that was um, that ginormous. Area, yeah, tens of thousands of people got killed. Sri Lanka, um, areas of India. Mm -hmm. What was that again? What was the name of the place? Well, Phuket. Phuket. I remember. Exactly. I, I remember them saying calling it Phuket. 
Did we just say Thailand? No, yeah, Phuket is another. Yes, it's another place. Most people try to pronounce it as fuck it. I've yeah. never even heard of it. Oh, yeah, that place. <laughs> that's how you can get, yeah, that's how you can get Alexa to cuss. Yeah. Just but Phuket, from, Phuket was wiped out. It was terrible. I mean, tens of thousands of people died. There's actually a very good movie on Netflix. All about oh, the, the, the people the, dying? The impossible. Oh. Was that the one in 2004? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I had a friend that was on a um, semester at sea cruise ship during that time. Ooh. And their boat literally was going at 30 degree angles. They had to stop um, in the, Mar they were, had to stop, I think, in Hawaii or the Marshall Islands because it knocked out one of the engines. Like she would, she sent us pictures and stuff while they were docked about how like just everything, they had to sleep in the hallway because their beds and everything would just list the one side and back and forth, they couldn't stop. Jeez. Mm -hmm. oh, tens of thousands of people died. Yeah. That's why when we moved to the second part- 250,000 people died. Mm -hmm. how, how many? 250,000 people died. You're talking about the same event? Oh my yeah. God. yeah, 250. The, in the, the boxing the, day. The boxing yeah, day. Unboxing. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the you're, they're talking about the number of deaths in different places. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. total was quarter of a million or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Two hundred twenty-seven thousand eight hundred ninety-eight. Approximately. Mm -hmm. And that's why when we moved to um, Thailand, we moved not to the west side, which has all open seas. That's why Phuket got destroyed. We mm -hmm. moved to the um, east side of Thailand. So we're protected by the islands of Indonesia, Malaysia. So there's yeah. very little chance the tsunamis are coming our way. Yeah, unless uh, one of those islands goes. Right. Yeah, but in Tenshi, actually, but where we live, there's an island um, just to the north of us, which mm -hmm. protects us from the north. And we live up high on a hill. So if a tsunami comes... Um, well, high on a hill is the biggest issue then. Yeah, we're, we're high up in a hill. And so if a tsunami comes, we'll look down at the valley and mm -hmm. see the destruction of the island, but at least we're, we'll be safe. Yeah. Until you have no food or water. Unless, <laughs> yes. Or if you can't make it there. Because... Or no power. Unless that's, it's an uh, earthquake and liquefaction and all that kind of stuff. Because we go through the same thing in weighing the big one. Yeah. Oh, that's water. true. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, but the liquefaction, that's true. When we were in New Zealand, we saw the effects of liquefaction. So this place. is the second week in a row where we're talking about death and destruction. I just have. <laughs> well, well I mean, last week we were talking about single incidents. <laughs> I think we we're talking about celebrity deaths. Uh, uh, no, it was mostly the, uh, about the pandemic uh, last week. Did you hear about the Czechoslovakian singer? We know, do we know who Karig no relation is. Who? Did you hear Someone about the just... Czechoslovakian folk singer that intentionally oh. got herself infected with COVID-19 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so she could go to the theater in the sauna and she died? Mm -hmm. She died, but her yep. son and husband her... were vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And they, she intentionally got herself exposed to them. Yep. Yeah. What a tease. Yeah. Good. Her, Good for her. Her son uh, was pretty blunt in his assessment of her stupidity. Well, yes. he said that she didn't believe in conspiracy theories and it wasn't against that the vaccine was safe. She just believed that natural immunity was better than what any vaccine could provide for you. Well, yeah, I'm going to open up. not going to get it again. Well, she <laughs> did, so probably not. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're starting? Put you in your rooms. Get in your rooms. rooms. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Be nice. Wait, took where am I? He knows. He's been he's been fine. He's Hamilton. Ari Isabella's here. I'll take any of them. Ariadne. <laughs> I'll take Ariadne. Them. Imogen. I'll take the cream colored tick. I'll take anybody. <laughs> she doesn't like it when you call her that. Oh. What's the other one's name? The middle one that you said? Ariadne. Oh. Um, you won't fan. let us get more cats. Oh. How just, many do no. you have? Just the one. You should and have one for cats. every bed. That means we should have two. Yeah, you gotta have a second just in case, you know, because just in case. Die. You gotta have a spare. I'm yeah. a big uh, Agatha Christie fan, so Ariadne. That's all horrible. I started calling her the luscious Duchess. I don't know why. <laughs> In the morning, was in the kind of luscious duchess. How are you? Yeah. And there, he used to hate her. I found a video 
of when we first got her where she climbed on his lap and he's all like get her off <laughs> and now she like today I had to bring her into my office and put her in her bed and set her on my desk because she would not stop meowing and pawing at his office door to be let in and it was driving me nuts that's so cute mm-hmm. but also annoying yeah. <laughs> yes because she likes to say hello with her meows it literally sounds hello. like hello. 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 <laughs> I have a cat that does that in the morning if I'm up too late mm-hmm. she's missing sun the sun missing yeah, sun. her arthritis is sun. you know there's sun the, there so she she's missing it so yeah. her she arthritis is sticking in and so she's I've had to give her gabapentin a couple times to get her to go to sleep Susan I sent you a picture yeah I'm hey, looking at it now. opening it now Susan mm-hmm. yes um supposedly we're being recorded so just to let you know yeah, yeah. Susan did it <laughs> don't tell anybody Okay. I, I I opened the picture. Where'd it go? Let me see. Oh, maybe. Oh, there it is. I'm being a. <laughs> I'm being a smart Alec. That is cute. <laughs> I'll figure out. We have we have a noise that we keep hearing in our. If Mark and I are in the living room, we're watching something on TV, which isn't very often because I don't do a lot of TV watching, but we're watching it. And, all of a sudden you hear a noise in the kitchen far away. It's just the ice, like machine, oh. the ice thing, but boy, is it creepy. Last night, yeah. night before we were watching a murder, a uh, murder oh, mystery, yeah, murder gone. mystery. <laughs> and is it the good now. part? Is it the good part? And I'm like, what is that noise? What's going on? He goes, I think somebody's coming in. I'm like, well, they better not interrupt us at this part because I got to see what happens. <laughs> Come later. Yeah. Come and talk later. Be careful that Zool might be in there. Mm. Zool, mm-hmm. it's probably Hi, raccoons. Raccoons making ice. Yeah, oh. nobody else. Did. Yeah, I was. I was asking about that on my team. So, you, you, what did you think of it? Ghostbusters. Raccoons, raccoons making ice for drinks. Mm-hmm. Raccoons like ice. Mm-hmm. And they hang out time. and they like Susan's house. Yeah. A, oh, yeah, a, they do. We do have raccoons, but we haven't had them for at least, gosh, it's been a year since I've had a raccoon in. So, mm-hmm. well, and the last time we had them in, there was four. <laughs> Maybe there'll be eight by the time the next time comes around. But the new generation is very stealthy, Susan. Watch yeah, out. Yeah, they, they could be in <laughs> making ice. Yeah, you never know. These, 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 they're there and you just don't out. see them. You don't have as long as they don't interrupt the murder I'm watching. I'm sorry, but it was a very intense. I, I've been I'm watching all the Inspector Morse in order, and I'm thinking them through and thinking about them. Sometimes I have to watch them twice. But it anyway. was a very intense murder, as opposed to a haphazard one, Susan. Yeah, you know, Agatha Christie. Somebody's there; they're dead. You know, <laughs> Inspector Morris. It's very well different. It's a different kind of murder, anyway. Anyway, so we're back. We're back and we're recording. Look, we got some shiny faces that we see every week and we have some shiny faces that we haven't seen in a very long time. Oh, here comes Deborah. Let's let her in the room. Harry, oh. no relation. <laughs> so we have, uh, we have, um, uh, yeah, like I said, we have some new, some people we haven't seen in a while. That's really great to see you guys. I feel so much better when I see you because I feel like this, at least I know they're safe. <laughs> this part is safe. <laughs> they're they're all here they're all safe i feel better you know i'm counting you all your little faces <laughs> that's anyway. what i do at night when i hear the coyotes oh you got chickens. Chickens. Chickens chickens. how many okay there's this dog this dog there's the kitty the chickens are all locked up they're fine i count them every night too yeah. Okay. Don't count them before they're hatched. Don't want to count them before they hatch. So we've got this a, a good crew good. here. So oh, I'm ready to start now. Yeah. We got some no. fun, yeah, exciting stuff. One. Keep in mind that I do not have anybody for next week. So just let That's me not know. Be a problem. Or for for categories and bonus. Oh, I thought you had me on the list. For I can week. do some. Okay. I'll do one, one. Susan. <clears throat> hey. James, you're doing, oh yeah, you're, you're doing a, 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 a night. yeah, so I can put you down for a category next week. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have a brand new uh, uh, person doing a category tonight, and that's Lori Betterworth. So 
you all know the rule. The first time they're doing a category, we are uber nice and we're uber just really. When, really when has that happened? I, has that occurred before? Only on the first time. Only the first time. And then there's the universe we actually live in. <laughs> <laughs> we all know how difficult it is to write these categories and to run the category and all that stuff. Lori, did did uh, Richard Saunders look at your stuff for you? He did. All right. So that's nice. So if it's your first time doing it, or if you're not sure if it's a really good idea because it's something so off the wall, what we'll do is we always ask somebody who won't be here the next week and then they can, you know, look it over and. and uh, Aunt Judy. Is, is there a rule against off the wall? Off the wall? Oh, no. I, I'm in trouble then. Okay. You'll be Michael fine. Jackson, 1979. So let's do our categories. The Here is. I mean, I can't race our team names. Team names. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right. So our first team um, and is Jamie Knapp, Leonard, Terry, and Vincent. I think I've got everybody there, right? There's not more than that. You're gonna hey. put it in, Vincent? Yeah, I think wow. I'm the one that's speaking for everyone. All right, is, what is it? Odd. Oh, Hawaii funny. at the tenth of the cost. Hawaii at the tenth of the cost? <laughs> It's um where I live Do here it. in our island in Thailand. It's just like Hawaii, but we oh, but a tenth of the cost. Oh, oh that makes oh. sense. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, and Terry put it on for me. So okay, okay. thank you. Fantastic. <coughs> team number two, who shall no longer be called team number two unless they name themselves team number two. Adrian, Ben, Karen, Carl, and Paula. The day's weird wordle word is Susan. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I thought no. we had to have no oh, proper names. It's no five proper names. names it's five letters, isn't it? Yeah, it's five letters. But no proper we, names. That's yeah, but what's that's weird, what's about weird about it. That's what's yeah, weird about yeah. it. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, it's a, it's is Wordle a brand name. new game? Is Wordle a brand new game? Because all I, of a sudden, that's all I'm I seeing on the That's all everybody's it's talking about, Alan. Fun, Alan. I'm Do going to resist it. Because no, no, I started playing it, but all of a sudden, resistance is every... futile, Susan. <laughs> it's mastermind. You guys will be years ago have forgotten now about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, that's basically what it is. Yeah. Words. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys! All I see these mastermind is matter because words give you a clue. If it has to be a word, there's a certain order. But that's why you only get six choices with the words. Mastermind gives you. <laughs> you like You should 10. be able to get mastermind in less than six. In six or less, I'm working on some very all your clues. I'm yeah, looking at some very difficult tougher. puzzles in my yeah, genealogy it is, history. You got to launch it out. I'd love to have you guys deal with my genealogy problems, and you can figure it out. That's a problem that needs to be solved. That's it. yeah, that's it. That's it. Anyway, <laughs> Alan, Avi, Jane, Kevin, Lori, and Larry. Well, Larry will be there. He's not there yet. Oy vey. Californication, eh? Eh? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> California, Californification, eh? Okay. All right. Bob, Janine, Kyle, Mike, Rod. Um, we have plagues, natural disasters, and death from the sky in honor of us always <laughs> talking about those sorts of things. Like, oh, Where's the oh my at the end? Oh my. Already, already kind of long. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of long. And yes, be uh, don't be so pedantic. I know uh, Leonard's going to say that death from the sky from an asteroid is a natural disaster. But I and I'm going to say that pedantic doesn't have an N in it. <laughs> That's my accent. I, it's the only word I pronounce wrong. Well, you're going to you're gonna gonna pull the Jersey, car, the Jersey card. Huh? Yes. Well, he's also from New York. Sure so it has one in it. New York or Jersey. Well, it does have one later. Yeah. <laughs> I had an R to everything. So Brian yeah. Kirby... Where are you? Oh, there he is. Hi, Brian. Mm -hmm. uh, Faith and Romero, Isabella, James, Jeff, and Julie. Where's Julie? Um, Julie actually has to work late. So. Okay, so just Jeff. Yeah, just me. We're not oh. disappointed with that, though, right? No, no, oh, I just. Geez, Jeff. I, well, I, not, I, not, not I count I you guys. You like her better. I count you guys, though. It is Joe's. Uh, what first first year so happy yeah. anniversary joe what a pleasant name from this team well i hope that this team has wonderful wonderful things they're thinking such great 
energy and 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 just happiness of happy energy we wait, Joe Biden. We, we wait in uh you know one year free Trump free, but we all kind of voted on the happier one. Happier yeah, it is version. pretty happy. So today is January 20th in the year 2022. Um, we are a game in the year 90. of our Lord. In the year of our Lord, 90, <laughs> noventa. Wow, that is amazing. 90 games, 10 more, and we have, and even we're jumping into the, the wow. three digit numbers. Nine season, more, and we'll have 99. <laughs> <laughs> this season two, episode 33 in the year of our Lord. And we have tonight playing against each other. Keep in mind that we have no idea who's going to score higher than anybody else and who will be the winner, 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 winner of the tonight's. Tonight's championship of game 90, it's Hawaii at a tenth of the cost versus today's weird wordy word is Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Already versus, worth it. Word versus, versus Oy vey, California vacation, eh? <laughs> versus plagues, natural disasters, and death from the sky versus happy anniversary, Joe Biden. Yay! Yay. I am happy that it, it's been a year. Now we can get some. I'm just looking forward to for it. Okay, so are we ready? Leonard? I'm ready. Are up. And okay. Mike's going to be running the um, mutant stuff for us. Who is? Mike Wolf. What you got? So Leonard? my category what, wait, what am I doing? is <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're muting people when okay. You're in charge of that thing, administrative stuff. All right, I will have to figure out how to do it. That should be a... Well, give, give a few minutes, yeah. So my category is called scales. I'm going to give you a list of 10 different scales and then a list of 10 things that are measured by these scales. Oh, I thought match. it could be dragon related. Yeah, mm. match, <laughs> match them up. Like major so and minor, major it, and minor. Oh yeah, that, those are scales too. That was, uh, that's not one of the options. <laughs> so I'm out of here. Dun, 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 one of, dun. two of these are a little weird. Number five and number seven. Those, those scales um, don't have well-established names, but those are the different, um, groups in the scale and the other ones you've you've probably heard or seen some of those before wow. and then these are the things that the scales measure match them up okay i don't like it i predict no zeros hmm. Okay. And who and whoever was was muting failed, <laughs> but we didn't get many complaints. Well, that's all right. So, um, Leonard, do you want to send us to our rooms? I think I can. And do wait that. before you do that, Leonard, are you going to do it uh, number and then letter, or letter then number, just so we can put it down in the right order? Um, I'm going to do it uh, from one to ten with the numbers. Oh. And then letters. letters. Okay. Letters. With, with the letters. Yeah. Okay. So to uh, taking into account what you uh, uh, talked about last time. Okay. And then I'll also give the mat the uh, the set where the the two sets of words match up. Oh, okay. Both ways. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I don't know that that didn't work. How do I invite people to go to rooms? Open rooms. Yeah, open rooms is the word. Yep. Open. Oh, there we go. Someone already did it. Okay, I've got a few people to assign, so don't panic. Wait, I don't see anything. Why don't I see my open rooms? I don't know. This is weird, Susan. You, I, oh, because, yeah, I've got to assign you. I've got to assign you. I got it on my iPad, but not on my phone. No, but I was in, I was in a room. I was in Team 4. Why did that vanish? I don't know. Rob assigned to four. As was as was Bob and uh, Carrie. I don't know why we're all here. This is weird. 
And Mike, wait a minute. Is this, is this, are we now in the room? I'm no, no, no. Your whole room got unassigned. I don't know why. Talk to Zoom. Take it up. So, so by the way, who's giving the category for our room? Because there was nobody in our, in our room. Deborah, the name. who's hey. about to go there now? Oh, hi, Deborah. Hello. Hi, Rob. I had who's, Adder. Who's the little, um, oh, that's Terry. Okay. Okay. So now go be free. Don't stand around here. Yeah, well. No. Uh -oh. Okay. Where we're being reported, we better behave ourselves. Hey, you guys. I guess. I guess Welcome so. I'm on hey. your Eight uh, pH is uh, water hardness. It it is. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Oh. Yeah. So that's which? Where is water hard? Oh, 10. Eight is it, 10. Yeah, it's just it, uh, J. It's hardness. Oh, so, J. Uh, he okay. didn't put water for some. Reason. Okay, Richter scale. You guys got that right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's the only one I knew. Bordel. Except, de except decibels. Decibel is. Um, Volume. Isabel is C. Volume. Vol volume. I knew that one. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Don't let me be too hey. stupid here. Okay. I'm Rankin. Just stumbling over it. Hmm. I've heard of the Rankin. Rankin scale? Yeah, is that sky brightness? Oh, let me put Isabel on her team. So uh, apart oh. from those, I don't know the others. So. All right. Uh, I've heard of some of these, but I can't be sure. S base hydrogen IO. So we did oh, see for number six um, on the most scale is hardness. We, we said that. Correct? Oh, that was it. Okay. I, I the most scale that. Hard hardness. Okay. So that's wait. Hardness is. So six hardness. is J. I thought you said six water is, was, was hardness. Yeah. I thought no. eight was. No, most wait, scale most is has, hardness. Uh, What's H pH? The H is acidity. I think it's acidity. Acid based oh, hydrogen ion? That's what yes. I thought. Acid yeah. based hydrogen ion? Oh, yes, of yes. course. Yeah. Yes. So H I'm G sorry. I did not read okay. all of those properly. Yes. Nine yeah. is. That would, be, that would be correct. Yeah. Okay. okay so okay. eight is G. Six okay. is hardness is J. Six Got J. It. Victor, Got it. Um, let's see. The portal. Nine, uh, decibel is volume. Yep, we Nine got is it. C. Yep. Um, shit, I've never heard of the Bordel scale. Um, Bordel. Well, what's left over? Okay, the enhanced Fujita scale four is I tornado winds. That makes sense. Yes, enhanced Fujita is tornado winds. So okay, okay. M O H S. Is that we got? We got that one. That one's hardness. Mo's okay. six, six is hardness. Six J. Yeah. Six J. Oh, we no need hardness. five, seven, two, three. Oh, did, did you get number two, Bordel? No. See, I don't know. It's Bordel scale. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Probably solar flares, x ray intensity. Could be. But then that's probably O B A F G K M. I'm just guessing C. So we don't have sky brightness used, we right? Do, we do not have sky brightness. Uh, do we have, what's the next one we don't have? We don't have uh, Saphir Simpson. No, but I mean on the answers, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the category. Oh, and the answers. Okay, we don't have sky brightness, stellar temperature. Temperature. Hmm. I don't remember yeah. if Rankin, Rankin scale is temperature. I can't remember. Um, well, I don't. I don't remember. Um, Bortle scale, scale? I never heard of Bortle scale. A Saffir Simpson scale. No idea. 
Sapphire Simpson sounds astronomical, doesn't it? Yeah, so you think it might be um, solar solar flares? Solar, yeah, solar flares. X-ray intensity. That sounds that sounds like a good answer. <laughs> it sounds impressive. Okay. Okay. Tornado winds. Do we have that one? Yes. There was that enhanced Fujita. Oh no! Wait a minute. We have tornado no. winds and we have hurricane. Yeah, wind. I was wrong. Oops, it's it's hurricane. It's her. Fujita is hurricane, I think. Yes, Fujita oh, is hurricane. Good. I'm sorry. Like F Fiji. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four is F. Okay, so okay. that leaves us to have. We need to find tornado winds, correct? Yes, we do. We do. And our choices are what? Right. Uh, you think I would know? Our choices are uh, Bortle, <laughs> Sapphire Simpson, O B A F G K M, uh, A B C M X, and mm. Rankin. Didn't we put uh, Sapphire Simpson for the solar flares X-ray? X-ray. Oh, did did we choose that one? Okay, I got yeah. it. So. Okay, I did. I guess. Yeah. That's just a guess. Okay. okay. Well, I don't, that's fine. Portal scale, what would that be? So we still have tornado, tornado winds. winds. Um, temperature? How about, how about stellar temperature would be portal? Portal? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine. Okay. Um, so do we have to E temperature for something? No. Nope. I thought rank. I, I just oh gosh, I, I've heard the Rankin scale. I have too, but I can't remember what it is. Okay, so it sounds it's, familiar. What could it be? What is our options here? You, you guys almost huh? done? Yeah, kind Wait, of. Uh, Susan, I, thought... I, I can't get to the main room. You should be. I yeah, I, it's just weird. Hit, leave I, room. I thought Rankin was sky bright. You got here, so you should be able to get to. Yeah, and when I go to the breakout room um, dialogue box, there's no, uh, there's nothing about going to the main room. But I guess I can just click on, uh, go to the, uh, just go to leave room. Yeah. Uh, sure. A couple of groups have already yep, gone back. Are. Three now. Really? Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Few minutes. Gonna... Yeah, we're almost done. We didn't use the. Nobody shared a screen, so it's kind of hard what we've got and what we don't have yet. I think it's easier when you have matching like this, so you know what's left. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have tornado winds, temperature, and what else? Sky brightness. Sky brightness. So, so you want to put the Rankin, you want to put the Rankin scale ten as sky brightness? I do. I'm fine with that. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Ten, eight. All right. So and we have five and seven left. Five. Is that seven, Oba? Which tornado winds and temperature, OBA and ABC. Gosh, MX. you would think temperature would be something easy. Well, same with tornado winds because we have tornadoes yeah. here in Kansas. And okay. I don't so recognize- You're in charge of it, Terry. This is your- Yeah, part. right. I don't recognize any so of that. I'm, I'm giving a two minute warning. I don't All even right. think you need okay. two minutes. All right, well, you wanna just get, I would say tornado winds are the ABC MX, but I'm just making it up. Okay. Let's put it. And so All that right. is this number five for temperature? Yep. O-B-A-F-G-K-M for temperature? I have no idea. Never heard of it. Me neither. Of That's probably stellar temperature would be D for O-B-A-F-G-K-M. Okay. Uh, that's fine. All right. I don't care. Five I don't would care. be stellar temperature. Yeah, I think I read that. Okay. Well, wait. Okay. Now I'm. Now I don't have it. Like I'm. I. You got to go. One is what we got to go over it. Okay. So oh, one, is, was, uh, one is okay, B. So one B. Two D. Two D. Three. I have H. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Solar flare. F is four. Is F. Yes. Five is what? D? Uh, okay. No, two, two was D. Oh. Oh. Five, 
five is E, temperature? Yeah, sure. that's what we said. We'd... Yes, okay. Six? All right. Six is J, seven is I, eight is G, nine is C, and 10 is A. Okay. Boy, but I've heard of the Rankin scale. I just forgot. So what are we putting for Rankin? Let me look it up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we putting for Rankin? Um, well, we've sky. got sky brightness. We can change it, but we only have 45 seconds. Yeah, just keep it. We just, okay. once we hit the just keep everything. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, All right. we'll first instinct. Yeah. All right. Good okay. job. Good job, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah. And if you're touching your computer case, that's grounded. So that's fine. Right. Yeah. yeah. Don't but touch a do. port. Yeah, I think a lot of the board. older, the older computer equipment, you know, decades ago were a lot yeah. more susceptible to uh, static discharge than the newer stuff is. Yeah, just don't I touch your cat. It. But still they is. don't like it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my mom was over the other day and she, she went touched my cat and the cat got a shock and my cat smacked her three times with her phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you? That would have been funny to get on recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish awesome. I had video of it. It was hilarious. That's awesome. Hey, are, we all, are we all ready? Yes, we're ready. ready. Yep. Yep. All right. So, should I read them out uh, and then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. put it in the chat, or should I put it in the chat first? No, read, read, it. Them read them out first. Okay. So, one, the Richter scale matches with B, earthquake intensity. Yes. Yeah. Number two, the Bortle scale matches with A, sky brightness. Uh, uh, number uh, three, the Saffir Simpson scale matches with F, hurricane winds. Oops, swap those. Number awesome. four, the Enhanced Fujita scale matches with I, tornado winds. Uh, <laughs> number five, OBAF. GKM, which has a wonderful, um, uh, what, what was that term again? Mnemonic. Mnemonic, Mnemonic thank you. OBA fine girl, kiss me. Mm -hmm. That is the order in, of stellar classifications for temperature. Yes. Uh, number six, the Mohs scale. OBA a fine gentile, kiss me. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> number, number six, the Mohs scale is J, hardness. A, B, C, which you'd think the next one would be D, but it's M and X, uh, is the uh, matches H, the solar flare X ray intensity. Yes. Okay. Um, eight, pH matches G, the acid base or hydrogen ion concentration. The H of pH means hydrogen. Oh, not bad. Um, nine decibel is uh, C volume. And what does the P and the pH stand for? Um, proportion. And 10, why is this not scrolling correctly? Uh, 10 Rankin is the temperature scale. So that's E where the degrees are the size of Fahrenheit degrees, mm -hmm. but absolute zero is zero. Mm -hmm. And you don't say degrees, right? Uh -huh. I you know what? The, the Rankin Bass scale <laughs> yes. is, a, is a measurement of quality of Christmas cartoons. <laughs> I don't think that that Rankin is spelled the same, is it? No, mm -hmm. no E. No. Yeah. Ranking so bass scale. No, uh, no opportunity for ambiguity there. <laughs> Bummer. Very good. So when when I first uh, started this, I was looking for ten scales that had screwy um, orders to them, like five and seven, but I couldn't find any others because I didn't. I'm sure there are many others, but I didn't know how to look them up. <laughs> oh. um, it's, it's hard to search for things yeah it's hard to search for things that are you know screwed up order yeah uh you could do like the um the color scale for capacitors or was it resistors or something yeah oh. um 
<laughs> yeah, there, I'm, I'm sure there's lots of them, but I wanted a, a scientific scale, so I just did eight oh, more good scientific selection. scales. Good selections. What I'm really surprised about is how I've never, because they talk about hurricanes all the time. How did I never I hear of that scale for So hurricanes? when you hear category one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. those are the Saffir Simpson uh, uh, categories. I had no idea. They just aren't getting and, and an, an a f And an right. F5 tornado, the F is Fujita. Yeah, so that, but that I've heard I of. knew that. And of so, course, when there's, a, there's an earthquake there, we say on the Richter scale. So, but they never right. say no, on I the did it wrong. We don't, we don't measure earthquakes that way anymore. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, I know that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I when I it. walk, it does measure on the Richter scale. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you, you say we don't measure earthquakes that way, but the USGS does. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they do a little bit of earthquake okay. measurement. Yeah, and we still do it in schools, teach it in schools too. Yeah. No, it's it's still used. Yeah. Uh, there are other, more precise, uh, yeah. mechanisms used as well. Good, All right. Good category, Leonard. Let's uh, let's, let's, let's see what the scores are. So let's, let's see. see what the scores are. All right. So uh, Hawaii at a tenth of the cost, which was the room I was in. How did we do? Four. The curse. That's not one. The, the, the curse is uh, is intact. Curse of Susan. <laughs> oh. You guys can listen to the recording later and just see. That, that's a yeah, it wasn't scale. Susan. We, did did they have them all that. right and you you talked them out of them, Susan? Is that what happened? That's my job. <laughs> that, that's I want to keep scores part. low on well, every I, room I, I, I did I did see a couple of cases where people oh. were talking themselves out of the right answer well, you know what yeah, though i was thinking I that. it is handy if you're share yeah. screen on these because you can see what yeah. hasn't been chosen mm -hmm. compared to what was chosen and it's a little mm -hmm. faster and we were trying to do it without sharing screen and it was just like well, what go. haven't we picked yet? yeah so i talked myself out of one we of should them. remember that you guys it might yeah. be easier in this case okay. okay uh today's weird wordy word is Susan, wordy? Is it called a wordy? Wordle. 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 Like turtle, only with a double. Wordle. <laughs> Haven't you seen all those green boxes and yellow boxes? Yeah, yeah. I've, and the Washington Post was talking about it and blah, blah, mm. blah, blah, blah. And, and swordle <laughs> is for four-letter words. And they also have loodle for lewd words. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what the swordle is. Uh, swordle. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> I'm so surprised that you know about that, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> what did Paula knows about a what? <laughs> Swordle? Good word. <laughs> well, a Swordle's a Pokemon, so that has nothing to do with anything. Gotta catch them all. So <laughs> today's weird word, wordy word is Susan. Ten. Wordle. Why is it not wordy? Ten. Oh, it's not Ten. I. Ten. It's an it's L. L. Okay, oh, today's weird bad. Wordle word is Susan. Okay, what is their score? Ten. Ten. Oh, look at yeah. that. Uh, Fine. Thank you, Carl. Well, yes. I only, there's only one I didn't know, and so that kind which of which one was that, Carl? Uh, the uh, A B C M X. The and, 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 and then you got that one by elimination. Yeah, yeah. it was the only one. Correct. Left. Now, if you had eleven choices on there, they'd been a little harder. It, that could have been a problem. <laughs> okay, oy vey, Californification, California, Californianation, eh? Californiation. <laughs> <laughs> Oy vey, Californiation, eh? Fornication. Think of fornication. You got a seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, I literally think of it. <laughs> when, when you're saying the word. <laughs> the look Not on your right face. now. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, am I supposed to stop thinking about it now? <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell me when. Never. Tell me when. You need music? Wow, that's the music you hear? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know there was such a thing as called porn music, but somebody told me that once, and now I can't. They were like, that's porn music. And I'm like, Paula told me that. I'm like, how do you know <laughs> that's you porn know? music? How yeah, you, there's porn know? music. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yes, okay, yeah. I don't remember telling you that. You told me that, that, that <laughs> porn is all made in Southern California down there where you are. Oh, it's not all made, but it used to be made in the Valley. But LA changed its laws about condom use in porns, and so a lot of them moved out. 
Susan, your version kind of sounds like a porn combo spaghetti western. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it involves Clint Eastwood as a young man, <laughs> enough said. Okay. All right, plagues, natural disasters, and death from the sky. This is Phil Plate's uh, team, right? It should be. If he joins, we get him. All right. <laughs> yeah, All right. Well, we we didn't know four of them, and we guessed two of them correctly. So we got. That, that, are they doing? Is that our team? I didn't know that was our team. Yeah. Okay. You don't know what team you're on. You're on. You're I on plagues, natural team. disasters, and death from the sky, Deborah. Oh, I, so. I thought that was three. Is that that's four? That's four. Okay, I missed one. So what was your score? Eight. Eight. Well, and happy anniversary, Joe. Got ten. Yeah, Alice. I want Joe to have a happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Joe. So happy, happy, happy anniversary, Joe. You could okay. do the Flintstones song. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, <laughs> happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy. No, no, okay, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I remember that last I think we've point. heard all the lyrics. You sound like Fred. The Flintstones. All right. That was, that was the Flintstones. Flintstones. They're the money turning family. <laughs> from the town of Bedrock. They're a place where that is. So we know a new really? category now. Somebody's going to do the Flintstones. We're really looking to demonetize this video, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Oops. I hit a button. Oh, I messed up my font. Yeah, but we I, 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 monetize I, or demonetize. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have four, ten, ten, seven, and eight. So the team, Ooh. bad spread. The team that has four is just playing for the for the next person to join. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're in last right. place. Woo! <laughs> oh. Unless that person is Phil Plate, in which case Ooh. it was our team. Yeah, I live. Absolutely. Oh. No, Possibly. no, if it, it, and, and besides, Phil would be most useful in the category we just did. Oh, yeah, yeah well, we so don't know what so the other categories are. It'll be something next, will probably be New Jersey or something, and that would be that would be um, no, it's going to be oh. Canadian because guess who's next? <laughs> who's next? Oh, so it'll be Canadian, so Phil Plate would be wonderful at it. I wonder if he knows. Hey, Phil, call me. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's bound to be watching. I've hot tubbed him with him and his wife and a few other people. A lot okay, of Susan, people. you have a theme going on tonight. Or yeah, seriously. Hot tubbing, you know. Porn. Porn. <laughs> oh, I never related those. Gosh, you guys got dirty minds. Boy. <laughs> Filthy might. Well, it's Deborah's, of course. What? It could be a oh, bonus category. Deborah Susan's has in the hot oh, yeah, tub. Dirty minds. No, dirty <laughs> mind. Deborah has got the mind of a like a 12 year old boy. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the, the humor, the humor of a 12 year old boy. Okay. Oh, oh, oh that's the best yeah. thing. Uh, I was going to ask you if, if it was in formaldehyde in your basement. <laughs> I, don't have a basement. I have no basement. We have a concrete floor. No basement. Sure, sure. Wait, Secret trap door. That's what they all I say. It's like that pizza factory. You, uh, you and you and Comet Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have basements in California. California. I am in California, and I'm in my basement. Ooh, well, yeah, see, and I've ooh. been in Leonard's basement, and he does have one. But we really we don't have hurricanes or tornadoes, so what do we need a basement? I've for? never lived in a place with a basement. Neither have I. Yeah, me neither. Almost the only basements one, I've no. been in is Leonard's. Yeah. Okay, okay. Adrian. Yes. What do you got for us? So my category. You muted yourself, Adrian. <laughs> that's her category. Love, uh, that's it. That's we her I, I, mute. I hit and we I have to use our psychic powers to know what she's going to say. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Mistakes, mistakes were made. made. That yeah. was her muting. Oh. See, she made a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake. So it's starting off well. All right. <laughs> Sound like she planned that. All right, Mike. <laughs> Three, two, one. I don't think Mike knows he's doing this. <laughs> I. I have I can no do idea it. how to I can do I it. No, I want Mike to learn how to do it. Mike has to learn. What is, I, uh, there is a test. It's on the participants. You have to hit participants and then and you then look at the bottom. At the bottom. There's mute everybody. Mute all. Oh, in the uh, 
participants. Yes. We're going to get yes. through this pandemic, and by the time we're done, damn it, you will all know how to use Zoom well. Even even and the then Zoom will. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, okay, so you know Susan was sort of right. I have to have some Canadiana in here to balance all the. Um, you asked that a that. word, Canadiana. Canadiana, absolutely. So in 1983, an Air Canada Boeing 767 carrying only 61 passengers on a flight between Montreal and Edmonton had to perform an emergency landing at Gimli, Manitoba because of an error. What was that error? And I'll let Robin in. <laughs> okay. Let's pause there for a second. Pause for just a second so that okay. Robin can come in and guess whose team Robin gets to go on. <laughs> yeah, good, good playing, Susan. Why is it that my thing keeps saying I'm muted? I'm not muted. How You're interesting. You're not muted. You're fine. But I keep getting a warning across my screen that you are muted. So, Rob. <laughs> now you're muted. <laughs> Robin, are you here? Can you hear us, Robin? There she is. Good to see you. So, we're on the second round. Okay. Adrian has just read the first question. Can you read it one more time so that Robin has it? It's called mistakes are made, the category. Yeah. You just read the first question. And you are going on to the team called Hawaii at a 10th of the cost, which is the team that is in the lowest place by a bit. You have a <laughs> okay. slight uphill battle to win. No stress, no stress or anything. Okay, read it one more time, Adrian. Yep. Oh, and somebody so needs to, uh, to mute Robin because the way it's set up is new people coming in don't get automatically muted. Where is yeah so that's good all right so the first i put it in the the chat again so robin can see it as well so number one is in 1983 an air canada boeing 767 carrying 61 passengers on a flight between montreal and edmonton had to perform an emergency landing at gimli manitoba because of an error what was that error Number two, the de Havilland DH-106 Comet was the world's first commercial jet airliner beginning flights in 1949. On January 10th, the first production plane broke up, uh, up mid-air in 1954. Three months later, the same thing happened to a second plane. And after extensive analysis, what was determined to be the cause of the failure that forever changed the design of jetliners? Oh, I want to get rid of the, there we go. So number three, on November 20th, 1982, uh, in an American college football game between the Stanford Cardinal and the California Gold Bears, an extremely unusual situation occurred when Stanford had taken a 2019 lead with a field goal with four seconds left. Remarkably, the Golden Bears returned the ensuing kickoff and won the game 25 to 20. What unusual event happened on the final play to make this one of the most memorable endings in sports history? Number four, in 1981, this hotel in Kansas City was hosting a tea dance and where 1600 people were gathering in the atrium. There were three walkways with people watching the dancing on them. The fourth floor walkway fell onto the second floor walkway and both fell to the ground. 114 people were killed and many injured. The collapse was determined to be caused by improper changes in the design to the walkway steel hanger rods. What was the name of this hotel? Number five, during construction, a structure became famous for its instability and earned the nickname Galloping Gertie. Eventually, it catastrophically failed. What is the name of the structure? By name, it was called Galloping Gertie, so you don't- That's the nickname. 
That was the nickname. So you mean the real name? The real name. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. So number six, on Sunday, June 22nd, 1941, Adolf Hitler launched the invasion of the Soviet Union, which is widely considered to be his greatest mistake and ultimately led to the Nazis losing the war. The operation was named after a 12th century Holy Roman Emperor and German King. What was the operation called? Number seven, this bird was described from specimens brought to Europe from trading expeditions to New Guinea. The native traders who had provided the specimens removed the bird's wings and feet so that they could be used as decorations. This was not known to the Europeans and the absence of complete specimens led to the mistaken belief that the birds never landed and were kept permanently aloft by their, by their plumes. They were briefly thought to be the mythical phoenix. What is this bird? Oh, interesting. Oh, Caspian's going to miss so many of these questions. I know he'd like them. <laughs> Number eight, a London skyscraper nicknamed the Walkie Talkie was opened in 2015. During the building's construction, a problem was discovered due to its shape. What was the problem? On the night of March 6, 6, 1987, passenger ferry Herald of Free Enterprise capsized moments after leaving the Belgian port of Zeebrugge. Uh, probably messed that up. The immediate cause of the capsizing was found to be negligence of the assistant bosun who was asleep in his cabin when he should have been doing what? In other words, what was the mistake? I started with Canadiana, and I will finish with Canadiana. The several months between 2011 and 2012 in Quebec, uh, the contents of 9,571 unmarked white containers that were only inspected once per year had their contents removed and replaced with water or left empty or were left empty. The value of the contents was estimated to be around 18.7 million Canadian. And adjusting for inflation as of 2020, this was the biggest heist in Canadian history. What was the substance that was stolen? There's my 10 questions. Very good. Hopefully. <laughs> interesting well, discussion. Question. It's like Canadians make a disproportionate number of mistakes here. <laughs> it sounds like it because that's what that's what you just pointed out huh? actually we actually went through uh, there's more european mistakes here than there are of any country mm. so there we go well, for, some reason, content, content. for some reason it sounded like i was listening to the skeptic zone oh. <laughs> <laughs> a? Uh, a, oh yeah a everyone ready a yeah, yeah. A. <laughs> okay so fun category eh? Uh, <laughs> for, the, for the kansas city hotel do you want just the chain name or yes the, the chain name would be fine or it would yeah that's fine that's all we need uh, don't get you know, which specific just giving out answers yep no that's fine all right open all rooms here we go Okay, Robin's going to room one, and I'm going to room two. <laughs> Probably no. So, Carl, for number sure. two, I thought it was because they had the round windows. It was a well, window shape. They had, they had windows. And oh yeah, so they needed they needed they needed it to be somewhat rounded, and they would right always right the, the square okay. windows created a stress point, which resulted metal fatigue. Okay. Uh, number three, I think, is that the one where the band was in the field while play yes. was still? Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, what? Number three. The marching three, band. The, ba the band marched on the field. They kind of had to pl 
play through the band. So is that two, the one where like the trombonist got totally thwacked? Yeah. <laughs> two was what? It was the what do we square want to say? Windows? The, the square the... windows caused metal fatigue failure. Okay. They would crash, <laughs> basically. Um, number four, uh, it's Hyatt Regency. I've seen this multiple yeah. times on my uh, my YouTube's. And and uh, Tacoma Narrows. Yes. Barbarossa, I'm assuming. Yes, Operation Barbarossa. I think Wait, number which... seven, I've heard this before, Bird of Paradise. Unless you uh, can think of something else. All right, hold on. We're, we're hopping around too much. I'm... <laughs> can we say like question numbers before we... Six, okay, uh, so five is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Tacoma. See it in every engineering class and it's awfully falsely listed as harmonic resonance but it's actually aeroelastic flutter oh, operation um, barbarossa for six yeah okay. all right and what were you saying paul you were mentioning something about a bird I believe seven is Bird of Paradise is the answer. Bird of Paradise. And they cut off the wings and feet so it could fly up your nose. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Number eight, I think, isn't this the building that got the way it was built? It, heat it was a big convex it, mirror. Nothing. Oh, it was a big convex mirror that created this yeah. intense heat at the focal point. It, it melted. It melted a car or something. Yeah. It was like not yeah. good. Oh my gosh! That's <laughs> but it, I but just it came, can't remember that. But it came yeah. in very handy when giant ants attacked. <laughs> mirror it this originally happened with handy. the Disney Concert Hall in LA. Mm. It was too shiny. They had to buff it down because all the buildings <laughs> nearby were getting totally hot. Yeah. That's oh, that's. I, I know nine. Do you know nine, Paula? Uh, that's he didn't um, close the supposed to close the bow doors and the roll on roll off. Oh ferry. yeah, yeah, yeah. The they didn't close it after because it was a car ferry. Yeah. And they didn't close it, and then the water got in and it over overturned immediately. Yeah. So um, Got to close the bow doors. Question, so that good? I want to say something before we run out of time about the band coming onto the uh, the field. Is it? You know, because it's about mistakes. Is the mistake that Stanford didn't realize that the game was still going? The, yeah, the band thought the game was over, so they started to go on the field. Right. So that was the mistake. Okay, just just checking. Okay. Number ten. I'm just assuming maple syrup, but I yeah, don't know. Pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like we heard about this one before. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that sounds very familiar. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good guess but, there anyway, Paula. But I've heard something about that. I, I don't remember this name, but I know I've seen a video about this. And there was like, you know, the mobs involved. This is like a big. Yeah, yeah we don't, we don't have didn't one. Realize, uh, yeah, we still need to go back to one. Didn't so, realize uh, maple syrup was such a. Number one, uh, I think is. They, they leave like a door open or the luggage compartment open? No, no, no. They they like ran out of fuel because they incorrectly calculated fuel in pounds instead of kilograms. Oh. <laughs> they thought they had like twice as 2.2 times as much fuel as they actually oh. had. Oh. And what's funny is when when she first heard that question, I wanted to say the whole, oh, they used the wrong units. Yeah. I was like, thinking you know, something like that too. Space. How, how I was thinking, oh, wouldn't that be funny? I'm like, I better not say anything. I wonder if and they sure were enough. thinking they got their metrics mixed up with uh, so is that what they were uh, error, no, error in units caused what low fuel, I guess. Yeah, just say pound, pounds instead of kilograms caused them to run out of fuel. I think they actually ran out of fuel. I mean, I don't know if they had, I mean, if they totally ran out of fuel and had to glide in or if they just came in on fumes, I don't remember. 
Well, I think it's enough to say an error in the unit. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, we we know what we mean with our answer. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I think we're because if we're too specific, that we work ourselves into incorrect. I uh, know. I always yeah. I always obsess about that. If we're too specific in our answer and we're not quite, you know. So All as right. far as I think we have an seven, answer for everything. For number uh -huh. seven, I'm trying to think if I'm confusing it with a liar bird. I just can't quite remember. Oh, uh, let's just go with that. Well, now I'm trying to think let's, of let's like leave. where the bird of paradise exists and where did the liar bird exist uh, for the first time to come I, and I would, contact with humans. I would stick, unless you're sure, I would just stick with the first one that came to you. The liar bird, isn't that the bird that Robin was in Robin's quiz? And isn't that in Great Britain? It's not from Great Britain, no. It's not? Okay. Um, Do you feel strongly? Do you want to change it? I don't really know, but Bird of Paradise struck a chord with me on this one. But May the bird of paradise fly up your nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't believe I've heard that song before. Oh, you oh, have come it. on. That's like, uh, it's like a grandma rat got ran over by a reindeer. It's like one of those, you know, old tropes, you know. Then my joke made absolutely no sense to you when I said to me, no, I got it. At all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you feel strongly, uh, Paula, about changing it to the other bird? No, I just wish I could remember where each one lived because okay. New Guinea's specific. We'll leave Bird of Paradise, and if we get it wrong, and it's not the end of the world. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure of all the other answers, so we got at least nine. Yeah. I think. So yeah, maybe I mean, maybe the liar bird is a type of bird of paradise, and we can cheat it that way. <laughs> well, if it's okay. in, if it's in um, New Guinea. Dungiti being paradise, and it's a bird from there. We could stretch it. Okay, yeah, there I'll say go. I'll say the bird of paradise then. All right, sounds good. You don't think? But I, yeah, I think everything else is fine. Wait a minute. What we should do is ask Susan what she thinks the answer is, and do the opposite. <laughs> oh really? snap! You are so kind. I cannot oh, wait snap. till I see you in Saigon because <laughs> we're going to have a little talk. <sighs> I'm going to take some nasty pictures of you, Carl, with a K. Should I say, is that really your name? And I'm going to post them. I'm going to wait till you're like chewing. Or just, if you're you like, take pictures, it's just going to be of Carl taking pictures. That's kind of. Yeah. No, no, I can catch yeah. him if I want. I can catch him. <laughs> Are we ever going to have a Psycon again? Oh, no. my gosh. Somebody just asked that on. on um, I'm on the. I run. I don't run, but. Barry Carr and I handle the um, Psycon, the Psycon Facebook page. And I was just, somebody wrote a message, is Psycon on this year? And I wrote back saying, this is Susan. So I don't know for sure, but I haven't heard anything about it being canceled. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, what if they cancel? <laughs> I don't think I can handle but this. But then you just got to say, you know, fuck it. You're gonna, you know, we're, maybe we'll all be infected. Oh, by we talked about it for the Bay Area skeptics last night. We had a meeting. Should we have Psycon, uh, Skepticon, which would be probably July? Should we have it live or should we have it in person uh, on virtual? And they decided virtual, but nobody can see their way forward past, you know, that it, that's a problem. You can't predict anything more than two weeks out. Yeah, and they're right. saying, yeah, exactly. and they're saying to them, they're like, can well, I interrupt? Well, no. sorry. Yes. Okay, so oh. can I see your number two answer for please? Because I'm I'm helping people with number two because there's lots of. Uh, okay, you're fine. I was because people were just saying metal fatigue, and I was not going to accept that answer. So ah, I told everybody yeah. to be yeah. the reason why. Pause. Yeah. The reason we were why. Very exactly. specific. Because yep. our team Good. rocks. Nice team. Way to go. Apparently, this team <laughs> rocks. So what I was saying is that there there uh, people are saying. Well, you know, Omicron is supposed to be dissipating, blah, blah, blah. And people are like, yes, but there might be another variant. And it's like, oh, my God, you know, we're never going to get out of this. If it's always what? there might be another variant. At what point are we going to be? How well, do you if we get through, I'm if we get through the point. full Greek alphabet, you know, what are we going to do? I'm already at yeah, that. We'll have, we'll have the double alpha strain and the, the alpha beta. Well, or, or are we going to have like Mark II, you know? 
Can you Event, this is Omicron Mark II. I know what it screen is. Screen sharing, please. Eventually, uh, okay. at some point in the future, Thank they'll that we won't be able to tell if someone's talking about a, a a variant of COVID or a fraternity. It'll be like the alpha beta <laughs> sigma strain. Yes. Okay, I don't think that this will result in a in a um what do you call it? A violate I'll play it for just a second so it can be recorded with no problem. You say that now, Karen, but we don't. Oh. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, I can't no audio. Okay. Oh, we did share you have I've to hit the heard, share. I've never heard of him. I, did, audio. I didn't augment it because I was trying to not get... so I never heard of him. Yeah. I looked at the name. And then here he is doing it like like a million years later. This was his thing. I do believe I have heard that. And I've then, not heard of this guy. And then Ray, I don't want anything flying up my nose. Little no, Jimmy Dickens. You. Little Jimmy Dickens. I would never have known that character. I Ray know the song, but I would have never picked his name out of a hat and then or Ray anything. Stevens did it. But he's wonderful. Ray has such a wealth of knowledge. Whole career from like a teenager till he looks like he's about 142. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> cool. I didn't think you were making it up, but I still hadn't heard of that song before. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't recognize it when you said the lyrics, but when you played that clip, it clicked. <sighs> well, Small so we just up. head back. Yeah, let's yeah, head I back. Guess so. Okay, great job, team. Good job. Hey, all of you. We're being followed. The recording followed us. Oh, mistakes were made. That's okay. Got got more electroshock therapy today. It's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, in your they, PT uh, for my physical therapy. There, yeah, they they do ultrasound and then they shock my muscles and it's really they freaky to have your muscles twitching like yeah. without you meaning them to i don't know we'll see i still don't feel like my numbness is getting any better mm. what do you have numbness from ben um numbness in my index finger and a little bit in my thumb oh. i injured my back and oh that's not good and you know, my back had been hurting for like mm. a week and I'm like, eh, you know, I won't worry too much about it. It'll get better. And then my arm started having pain. And then when my fingers started going numb, I'm like, ah, I better go. Have this yeah. Did, did the PT person said when you sh would be reasonable to expect the check. some changes? No. But like, what's weird is they did that, you know, electrical therapy to and, my first visit when they were evaluating me and then uh -huh. like then it was just like stretches and exercises after that and then now they're like oh we're gonna do the electrical therapy and ultrasound therapy each each visit now i guess that's because i haven't been seeing much of um can we uh, guys on my on my team do we want to request an extra minute yes can we just have one like five seconds all right well, give us a minute. Yes. No. No. Denied. Not now. Stop it. <laughs> now, Adrian, now, Adrian, Adrian, that... Adrian, can we go back for a minute? I thought I, yeah, I thought I said. You, you got invited to. Yeah. I did. It Where did I get up. invited? Where do we get? I should have popped up on the screen. It did not. I don't have it. I did. It popped up for me. It popped up for me. This is what happened before when I was. Yeah, it's really strange it. because the only option I have right I now know. is to close all rooms. That's very weird. So, yeah, it did not. No, but you can. So Look at all these unassigned go. people. There are a whole bunch of unassigned people now. Click on breakout oh. rooms. On something's your going wrong. I did. Yeah, there's something weird going on I mean, because there's I mean, a bunch of unassigned whoever people. Whoever didn't get the invite, if you click yeah. on breakout rooms, you should get the option to join. There I go. must. We, does everybody we, have to? We don't have breakout room option. Room. You guys, we need to, everyone, which, which room, Alan, were you in? Where I think we're three. Is hey. that uh, Ronnie? Uh, Avi, was that? Avi no? was. Oh, yeah. 
Is Avi room okay, three Avi as well? Avi and yeah. Alan are in Oive. Yeah, so three. Okay, got that. Uh, Deborah, you don't need to go anywhere. Or Bob or Bob anyone else? Four. Need? Does anyone else need to go to the room? Yeah, I do three. Okay, Kevin. Well, if they're doing anything, I think, I think All we, right. we can there do we go. Room. Yeah. That's really help. strange. It's Why very strange. So Deborah's on so, a sign yeah. now. Uh, okay, let me sign them to their room so that okay. way they can just not go and then they'll go to the yeah. right room next time, I guess. There you go. That's a good idea. But this happened a few minutes ago, too. Yeah. Last weird. time we closed. Mm. Should I show That'd off my newest movie. Lego creation? Uh oh. No. Go ahead. <laughs> Ooh. It's, it's a it's a Lego oh, Batmobile. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, can I go to my room? Oh, who's that? Me, Lori. Lori. Okay. Yeah. Did you I not? Know if you really need me. No, you 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 don't have to go. <laughs> We're not <laughs> sending you there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can go for, if you want, but uh, I can't. You're not, not being sorry. imprisoned in your room. So I don't have her as yeah. an unassigned anymore. She's mm -hmm. here. Lori says. Oh, that here I can move. Well, I can only not move join. That's okay. That's okay. Doing... They can do it. They can. Okay. They're, they're Are you fine. sure? I, I barely contribute to this. <laughs> <laughs> She's, She's here for the like porn. I mean, She's here for the porn. You're, you're dead weight, in other words. Mm -hmm. What's that? You're dead weight, dead in other weight. words. Yeah. yeah, but I'm sweet, so whatever. Yeah, if I go for you. Well, if anyone I, holds comic relief. So if anyone holds the door open for a clown, do you find it a nice gesture? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Is that a Canadian gesture? 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 Yeah. Oh, oh, gesture. 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 Oh, all right. I yeah, I just did an old fashioned traditional category. Keep it simple. Did they say five seconds or five minutes? Uh, should yeah. I close it? I guess I should close, yeah, close it. Them. I got distracted. Thank you. Yeah, bring, them, bring them back. I, got, I brought them back. They got another minute. <sighs> They're on their way. Yay. I think team three has a lot of people to, and they get into these discussions. That was a waste of time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys We're glad to hear that. They wouldn't let me join you because they knew I knew the answer. <laughs> uh, that's right. We couldn't, we couldn't figure out how to send her to that room without changing the room. So. That, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. So for question number one, I think most people got this one. It's a pretty well-known thing. The answer is they ran out of fuel and that's all I needed is ran out of fuel is enough. Oh. But if you wanted to get into more detail, they calculated the fuel. There was a conversion problem between metric and imperial. Oh. Okay. So that was, and there was, it was actually more errors than that because apparently the fuel gauge wasn't working properly as well. You can read hello, that. Hello, hello, hello. We were, we were not here. I don't know, you're giving the answers. Oh, did you not come back? Oh, sorry, I thought you were all here. Yep. No, we got the timer and we came back when the timer ended. Okay. Sorry about that. So number they ran one. Ran out of fuel. Ran out of fuel. Yes. But, but so if, we, if we said metric system error, is that okay? I would take that as well. Thank you. Because I think that's even more specific. Yep. And we get both. That's even, oh, too bad I can't give out bonus marks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is the stress concentrations due to the corners of the windows because they were square <gasps> so oh. now that's why all windows now are rounded oh, oh. oh. It's just so, and that. take take a look go and google this it's really interesting to see up an airplane with square windows it's very odd so i was half right I knew it was the windows, but I didn't know it was the square windows. Yeah, I, I would take windows if the, oh. there was a problem yeah, with the and, windows. And, and, uh, and I said that it was um, stress fractures. Yep, stress, stress fractures. And with, yeah. As long as you have you, windows you in the there. Gist. Yeah, you got to have right. the windows worded. Well, I, I, oh. said, I said that you could put windows over the engine so the birds wouldn't come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have any negative side windows effects. That caused the plane to crash. Well, you don't look at the engine. Though. We put windows 3.1. Might keep a 
Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> Next. If they only uh, put 311 for work groups, it would have been all right. Some people were uh, may not have gotten this one, which I was surprised at because this is pretty well known. And some people I think may have talked themselves out of it. So the answer I'm looking for is the band came on before the end Yay. of the game finished. Yeah. So some the band band came on. Yeah, that, that isn't what caused the, the thing to be crazy. It well, was the fact that it was a, it was a bunch of laterals. Yeah, there were definitely a lot of laterals, and I, I have that in here. So, the, yeah. but but the laterals definitely did add to the craziness of it. But I don't think there's ever been a case of an ending game where the band comes out <laughs> and the band gets knocked over by the people. That's the, the reason the why they don't let bands no, on. The yeah, but both is correct because the <laughs> laterals are what caused the band thought the game was over. Yeah, because right. they thought they somebody was the tackled. They, yep. they, and they came out on the field. So it's a combination sports, sports, ball, sports ball term of laterals. Okay. Uh, they throw it, the ball backwards. Forward backwards versus forward. Yeah, sideways and or backwards. It was, and it was forward. not the band that got knocked over. It was the trombone player. Okay, sorry, over. not the whole band. A yeah, particular band. member yeah. of the band. My dad was there when it happened. And he <laughs> I, was I, I was watching that game on TV. I remember this. <laughs> My dad just graduated when that game happened. Really? He happened to come up and saw the tail end of it. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, he was standing on the Stanford section, actually, it was, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's the most crazy thing you should, anybody who hasn't yeah. seen it should actually uh, yeah. look at you the YouTube. It. It's, it's really, really funny. It's called and, the, play. the play. Yeah. Yeah. It was a question. And uh, he's very so happy Leonard, now. <laughs> number of lateral passes, yeah, of course, I will correctly. accept as well. So the next one is Hyatt Regency. I think most people got that from what I was seeing. And I think most people got the next one as well. So we'll whip through those ones very quickly because Galloping Gertie is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. On number four, yes, the flaw was they were supposed to have a single rod that went vertical yep. and the contractor staggered it sideways. Yep. Well, That's right. Put a link. What I, it, and it, it, it wasn't just a contractor and loan. It, there, you could have an entire one hour program to cover the complexity of yeah. how the change came about. Yeah, it's usually more than one. It wasn't necessarily one, but what somebody did was they right. staggered well, them. And it, and it could not have been manufactured as designed. It was impossible to, to assemble the way it was right. designed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should have welded two rods together, but they put them side by side. For number six, it is Operation Barbarossa. Thank and you. As long as you're Alan. close to that spelling, I saw some people without <laughs> double yeah. S. It's fine. Barbar Barbarossa? Barbarossa? Yeah, that's fine. Barbarella. With, uh... Barbarella. Barbarella. Jane Fonda movie. I, I think I saw one team. Isn't that porn? One... Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> it was then. <laughs> yeah. Um, Barbara, Barbara. Didn't she come out with like just like this yeah. animal yeah. skin thing that was yeah. all she was wearing? Jane Fonda. No, that, was a, that was a different movie. Barbarella. Barbarella. Barbarella, see? But the that Nazis wasn't the one with the animal skin. I that didn't was know one Jane million. Fonda did yeah, a movie that... with the Nazis. That was one no, million. Barbarella, she floated yeah. around naked in space. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. All right. So the next one, I did see at least one team get this one. So hopefully, more oh, did. Yay. It is a bird of paradise. Oh, right. good. We saw a song yeah. on it. Thank you, Thank you, Paula. We got a song. <laughs> Well, uh, Karen showed us a song. We got it right because we guessed. Uh, it's a good guess. We, we got that from Kyle's parrot. It was, it was actually ESP from the parrot. Yeah. Came, came so the, Thank you, Kyle's parrot. The problem with the London skyscraper was that it was a concave shape, focused light onto the street, yes. which caused panels of cars, parked cars to melt or warp and a doormat to scorch. And they even fried an egg with the beam of light that are beams wow. of light that wow. happened to it. So anything about that where it was a focused light, heat, melting, that kind of thing. So its new name was the walkie scorchy or the fry scraper. Oh. <laughs> it's an incredibly oh. ugly looking building. It's very there is a build, there's a <laughs> building that's almost building? I, there's a building in Toronto that's almost identical, mm. probably the same design. And evidently what happened is when they finished building it, there was a the crane was on the top and they realized they forgot to figure out how to get the crane oh. off so i don't know mm. if it's for all i know it's still there but for, for, for a long sure time attraction. the crane mm. was stuck on the top yeah yeah, yeah. Little, said, little, should we take this down little little known fact is is the error there was used intentionally for the jewish space lasers <laughs> <laughs> But the, the building in Toronto was was all fixed because they just said sorry. 
I sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Was yeah. the was the son? Did they not think of it that it was going to be that? Well, no, the curvature. Well, it's it's in London. Like a it oh, so it's, in like like in London. it's never sunny in London. Exactly. So that's what it was. Oh. That like, never thought it would have sunshine. That is one of the excuses. That, and Kevin, that, that was our answer. Kevin. Yeah, we got it right. Yeah. So one of the cars that got melted was a Jaguar. Oh, oh I, I hope it wasn't red. <laughs> <laughs> I love red Jaguars. There you go. So and they, number cook, nine, they cooked a bird of paradise while oh, really they could have they only could have if it flew up your nose. So the next one was what did the bosun forget to do or fail to do because he was asleep? He forget for failed to close the rear doors oh. and the water rushed in and oh god the front doors. Uh, the rear. Oh. Or maybe it was bow. the front. Was it the front? Oh the bow. Bow, bow. Front. Yeah, bow was front. The doors. Bow. Yeah, the, the, so they they, drove well, right into the water. Yeah, that's right. Drove right into the water. Thank you. I said I don't know why I said back, but it's right oh, there. It starts with a B. Is the back other... bow. <laughs> Various change directions. All right. So the last one. Hopefully everybody figured this out because of me, Canada. Oh, I knew it was going to be <laughs> Maple great syrup. Australian, yes! great Australian hey, psychic prediction go. project. <laughs> that is, and Adrian, that is exactly the reason that I came up with Maple syrup. <laughs> No, because my I'm Mrs. Butterworth. That's why. That was, I thought it was. I thought it might have been poutine. But yes, there is a Netflix series poutine. on this event. So oh yeah, check it no, out. I remember, I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. My, my type of syrup would not be that expensive though, because yeah, it's like it, it actually. Syrup corn not, syrup. This not, drove up the price of uh, of maple syrup considerably at the time because all of a sudden there was a shortage because. It, didn't, they had all this maple syrup the, that was gone. And, we Jemima, and so Jemima couldn't keep up. Was it stolen, stolen or just? No, it, it, was it, was stolen. Stolen. it was stolen. It was, was stolen. It? it was stolen, and it was. What resold. the hell did they do with it? They sold it to retailers. Uh, a lot in uh, New Brunswick, apparently. Some in a lot, quite a bit in Vermont, and so it might have been sold as Vermont syrup when it was actually from Canada. And we bought it at Costco they, for years. So yeah. hot. Yeah. So Vermont is hot. Is hot they Canadian caught, syrup. They caught, they, they caught them. They caught them all. There were seventeen people who were charged. I think most of them ended up in jail. They ended up stuck. Huh? Is that what the movie Goodfellas is about? <laughs> yeah, they were on a sugar high. So what's with the thing of only inspected once per year? I know. Isn't that crazy? I mean, they, they just sat there with these unlabeled drums. Like, I mean, the, as I say, mistakes were made. <laughs> Human error. Okay, so let's go to the scores. Larry just showed up. That's nice. Hello, Larry. He wasn't gone too long. So um, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm sharing scores. <laughs> I, I, there's so many buttons. Okay, so let's start with... The movers and shakers here who just got Robin Welsh. So let's see if that made a difference. Hawaii at a tenth of the cost. Uh, we got nine. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Well done. Well done. Good eh? job. I wasn't there. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Susan, hopefully the team. So that's there. why the score went up. Oi, man. Californification, <laughs> eh? We got seven. I see a trend there. And plagues, natural disasters, and death in the sky. Six. And happy anniversary, Joe. Seven. Hey, mm -hmm. and the team that I was on, we'll see how we did. Today's weird one. Wordly <laughs> <laughs> word is Susan. Ten. Ha! Oh, oh, no. I didn't help at all, though. <laughs> I, I, I that's the first. That's a first for me when I've given out uh, my, my that my team. I did well. nothing on that team, so they were all figured it well, out. Well, you didn't talk us out of stuff, so that's good. okay. So yeah. I did help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew I could help by not saying anything. So let's Using help up. by not helping. I'm, I'm going to do the yes. I help by not helping. So let's have everybody look at the camera. Uh, is everybody at their computer screens turned on? Yes. Okay. Look. 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 Adorable. <laughs> That's impossible for me. Did you get okay, it? Ready? <laughs> okay. Let me just copy. We should all say happy anniversary, Joe. 
Yes. Anniversary, Sing happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Did you get it? Are, yeah. we taking, are we taking our little break? Yeah, now? this is our Good. five minute break. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, you guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. I'm gonna walk back in, Susan. Dash Rip okay. Rock, I see you. Don't worry, I'm I'm Flintstones. I'm fully Flintstones. Me, the, the Flintstones. Flintstones. Have a yabba dabba do time. A dabba do time. A yabba dabba do ba do ba time. I, I've forgotten some of the words. I, okay. I used to sing the uh, Flintstone song karaoke, so I actually know it. <laughs> There's a bit of trivia about Vincent we did not know. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah. That was many years ago, though. I haven't done. Karaoke. But it's still recording, so. Oh, so I can't sing any of it then? Okay. I won't. So what were the categories I missed, Vincent? Um, the first one was uh, scales, as in like measuring scales of something like temperature and stuff. The second one was from Adrian and she did um, uh, Comedy, uh, no, um, stuff that failed because of stupidity. Like, <laughs> Must have been a like, lot of uh, examples you could use. <laughs> seri yeah, serious mistakes like 1983, uh, plane didn't make it from Edmonton to Montreal because of fuel, and it was just because of a conversion problem. Is that the one that landed in the abandoned airstrip or whatever it was? Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I can't remember the name of that one. <laughs> yeah. And I suppose they mentioned the uh, Mars. Uh, no, she, she, yeah, she didn't do any space ones, no. though. Oh, okay. But yeah, that was an error too. I remember that. One thing that's not being an error is the Webb, James Webb telescope. That seems to be uh, going off smoothly. Yeah. For $10 billion, I would think that it would be go off smoothly. I mean, wow, they spent, they spent a well, lot they had, of money on it. Yeah. They had 10 extra years to make sure they had it right. <laughs> I guess they did. Yeah. One billion. I can barely year, I stand to read about it because it, it would make me so nervous if I were involved with it. That's the reason. The reason I had a lab that I could just say if there was a mistake, it's okay, nobody died. Yeah. You know, we can redo it. Yeah, I oh, just, I just I, on the Webb telescope, it turned out that a good friend of mine was responsible for the gold coatings that were put on the mirrors for this Webb telescope. Oh yeah. So been, yeah, so I've been talking to him because in my previous years, I was doing thin film technology and the owner of a company I used to buy um, thin film deposition equipment took care of all the gold coatings. So I've been talking to him and it was um, you know, a bit of a challenge to get such large mirrors uniformly coated with the gold, but it was successful, but he's yeah. very anxious. So it's kind of fun to watch it on TV and know that the gold that was deposited was done by my friend. It's kind of neat. Cool. But the um, um, years ago, one of my colleagues was a physicist who worked for Perkin Elmer in Connecticut. And he was the guy who was, guy was a jerk. He was responsible for the error that took place in the Hubble telescope. Remember that focal point error? Yeah. It was caused by this colleague of mine who used yeah. to work for Perkin Elmer. <laughs> it, it actually isn't well established what went wrong there. So <sighs> he, he, he may be accepting blame, but it's yeah, not universally assigned. No, but he was responsible, well, at, least, at least. He was responsible for not catching it or for making the mistake. 
uh, making the mistake. Uh, that that's contrary to reality, but that's okay. I don't know, but it was it was done in Perkin Elmer. And he took responsibility, but it doesn't matter. I never liked the guy, so <laughs> it works out. Yeah, the uh, uh, the engineering in the Webb Telescope is is amazing. the 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 part of the of the process that just finished today, or yesterday actually, um, they needed to move the mirrors um, half an inch into their uh, uh, where they were free from the the pegs that held them in position for launch, and they moved them ten nanometers at a time, ten. <laughs> billionths of an inch. Um, and they moved, there are 18 mirror segments. They moved 16 of them um, together at the breakneck speed of a millimeter per day. Mm. Wow. Slow and, and the other two, they moved separately. And the reason that they moved the other two differently is those two uh, mechanisms are defective. And they Notice the defect mm -hmm. long before launch, and um, the readout that determined how you where at what position the mirror is um, had broken. Mm. And the question was, was it better to figure out a way to get around the error or to rebuild those particular mechanisms? And they figured that if they actually rebuilt it, it would delay launch. Mm -hmm. So they just figured out a workaround, um, and it works. It's so what is I, I'm wondering, like, when you, I don't know if you know how, how, to, how to do this, but how do they know it's working, like, as they're doing it? In, it's instrumented out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. So, but they get feedback. Then. They get um, amazing amounts of feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. It, in fact, if, if they had cameras, it wouldn't tell them anything that they don't know. And it's almost impossible to light the thing because it's so shiny. And any light that they had would generate heat, which would prevent the telescope from cooling down to the point where they mm. need to, where they needed to be to operate as an infrared telescope. Plus you so, can't really see something move a nanometer, <laughs> even if it, you were it, watching. It, it, it would be hard, it would be hard. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, but one of the things that, that people keep saying is if anything went wrong, the whole thing doesn't work. That's just wrong. There are, a, a, you know, a, a few hundred things where that's true. If this thing went wrong, it would wreck the whole thing. But there mm. are thousands of things that are there and most of them have some form of redundancy. Yep. Fantastic. So what is the next step? So they, they open the mirror. What is the, what is the next Part of the process. When the, the next when it, big right, thing you... is the next big thing is the uh, the last major engine burn, where they actually go into their orbit around the L two point, and then they spend the next three or four months um, aligning the mirror um, to their ten nanometer um, accuracy, hmm. which uh, is a slow process. And while they're doing that, they wait for the telescope to cool down to get to operating temperatures. Sure. Fantastic. So let's talk about what next do, June to July, the first images, something like that. Yeah, it'll be six months from Christmas. Yeah, fantastic. That'll be how fantastic. Do they move, how do they move something a nanometer? Is it just a uh, combination of gears or? Yeah, it's a combination of gears. Okay. Hmm. And very little backlash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Amazing. he gets hit by a comet or a rock or a, no, I'm kidding. Well, fortunately, space is big. I <laughs> agree. Um, and there's not a lot of stuff out there. So uh, let's hope that th that doesn't happen. Hmm. <sighs> okay, and we're back. That's the Woohoo! I hope you're all back. I'm back. I'm front, actually. What about, <laughs> what about your back. back? I'm back. I got your back. So uh, we have just a few announcements today. I think we have um, uh, Paul Offit's video will be out on. He did a talk today for C uh, Skeptical Inquirer. It will be up on their web, their uh, 
their YouTube site. I hope you guys subscribe to it. They have a lot of great talks on there. I'm actually going to get to do one of the talks eventually in February or March or something like that. I've got Ooh, what's the topic? I don't, you know, I told, uh, Barry asked me, he says that it's been a while since we've checked in with you. So we'd like to see what's going on in, in the, in the world of the girl of skeptics and JSOW and all that. And I said, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. So I, I, what I asked is I said, have you, have Leanne uh, interview me and then that can do like a general thing of like this is happening here and this is mm. happening there because I don't want to give a talk because then it's only on one subject right so um I, I do want to that, announce this I just did a talk that's going to be fun because Leanne is just a blast oh yeah she is but you know there's I guess I have to supply her with kind of the questions you know kind of the here's kind of what to ask i guess i don't know i've not done a one of those kind of interviews in a while especially with somebody who's not like in the group but you know that would know the questions they asked anyway so i did a talk for the commonwealth club it is a kind of a it's it's speaking outside of the choir it's not a normal uh it's not a skeptics group it is a organization that, that is more of a I, I hate to say intellectual, but it's a professional. It's, it's a, th it's, and yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the Rotary a, Club or something, but a little no, bit more. It's, it's more, less like God, the, more upscale, more, more. Yeah, like, the Panet, it, like the Panetta lecture series. Yeah, yeah. it's something yeah. like that. It's more, it's yeah. more out like that. So I've seen that they've done talks and they've got, um, after a couple months, they have 400 views. And sometimes the, it has, you know, 4,000 views. So it could be anywhere on their, on the spectrum, depending on what the talk is about. Like you have Mary Trump on there, you've got an instant, you know, several thousand views. If you have somebody just talking about, I don't know, something, uh, I don't know, recycling <laughs> or something, I guess maybe you wouldn't have quite so many views. So when I did my talk last, uh, last, uh, the beginning of January, I was really disappointed because I got almost no questions. And they said there was only like 10 people on the YouTube channel whenever I did my talk. So I was really sad. And plus the very ending of, of the talk, it's on Operation Onion Ring. I felt really kind of depressed because the questions that were being asked of me, I had to answer them and they're like, no, there's nothing you can do. And, and this is going to get worse. And it was just, I felt really negative when I, when I finished and, and yes, he's, he's, he's talking to children, you know, it just was really negative. So the video came out today and it actually came out about, what time is it now? It's eight. So it came out about four o'clock or, or three o'clock. So about five hours ago, and it's already got 368 views. So I feel a little bit better yeah. because I'm, I'm not as low as some of the videos. Is this, is this there. the link here? They just yeah, put it just in the so yeah, If we go it. watch it like 17 times each, we can <laughs> just keep fast forwarding it. <laughs> <laughs> the end, fast forward. Well, I'm just happy to see that it's, there are, I have 368 views. It's only been out about four or five hours. You'll have that about 700 more. tonight, Susan. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Got it. We're all going to pause the video right now. That's all we're going to do. We're all going to watch it. 371 now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is going up that quick. Watching it. But the thing is, is that um, I know I, yeah, 371. I know I will not be last because that number beats some of the others on there already. The, even though I would actually like to watch a video on recycling, but I'm, I'm kind of strange that way. So that's out. Um, I wanted to let you know that on Wednesday. Yeah, that's Sorry. it. I heard it. The 27th. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it run. <laughs> so, so the the day before the next um, trivia, the Bay Area Skeptics is having a virtual Skeptics in the Pub, and I was told they're having it on a Wednesday, so it will not coincide with trivia. Oh, so we have yeah, such a cool day. He's that's what I was told. We picked it intentionally so that it's not going to interfere with trivia. Thanks, <laughs> Susan. Say thank you, you Adrian. You know. Right? It, right? There's what? another thing going on at that same time, isn't there? What? Another uh, talk? I'm talking to the Weekend Reason. Oh. Nobody tells me these things. Well, I didn't plan the virtual skeptics in the pub. So, what time are you talking at, Rob? Time is it, Adrian? I believe it's seven. 
Uh, that would be mountain time. So that would be six your time, Susan, and very late for Rob. Okay, what, six uh, my time. Day? The 26th, is it, Rob? You do Wednesday, Wednesday, whatever Wednesday. Okay, wait, wait. So if it's at six o'clock my time, and he's going to talk for how long? An hour. Okay, yeah, well, this is at seven o'clock my time, and it'll go on for a while. So you can do Rob's talk and then come right over to the virtual. Uh, All right, good plan. We could do it. So it's a social. So I hope I hope I'd rather a lot of drink first play. before the talk, I think, though. So. Yeah, have drinks before you Rob's can do both. <laughs> And then drink during. <laughs> Maybe I will even have a drink. That will be entertaining. Okay. So, did, did <laughs> say what a little long, just so he can see who wants to watch his thing more than Susan's. Who knows? No, it's not mine. I'm not doing it. Oh, it's not yeah. mine. I just inviting you guys because I want to go too. But now Susan, I'm gonna. Susan, to did you it. say what Paul Offit's topic was? He talked about his new book. And the first thing he did, he did about 15 or 20 minutes on all the problems that we've had with vaccines. And okay. his point was that vaccines, there's been a lot of collateral, collabor a lot of damage, a lot of danger, a lot of, a lot of deaths. It is not like, <laughs> James, stop laughing. It's collateral damage. So there's been a lot of problems. And it was nice because as he was talking about it, I was thinking maybe this is a good thing to, to let the anti-vax community know that we totally understand that this is not perfect. There's no, there's, there's, there's been errors made, no. mistakes are made. It was a really interesting talk. And then he talks about like, you know, who should get boosters, who should, blah, blah, blah and, and what he thinks is going to happen. It was very educational. I left it thinking, wow, I feel better. And something's coming out tomorrow in the news breaking news he broke he broke this news today something's coming out tomorrow about booster shots that a lot of people don't need to get booster shots and i don't well I yeah we know you don't that it's if you're at a certain I want. if you're over 65 yes if you're over 50 and you have some sort of quote morbidity morbidity yes then yes but if you're <laughs> under 50 and you're in great shape don't worry about it oh, it's so not going to do anything for you about that great shape part yeah, well, anybody who's lived through the pandemic <laughs> and been eating uh, licorice and popcorn like I have, forget it. So I got to get my booster. But anyway, so it was very interesting. <laughs> and <sighs> Mr. Polish. Yes, Polish. indeed. Polish. <laughs> you got it. Well, this week on Data Skeptic, actually, let's do two because I was out with the dental surgery last week. I talked to somebody from the financial industry about uh, some time series work they do, and uh, that's the latest one. More exciting than that is right behind that, I talked to Trivia's own Richard Saunders about the great Australian psychic prediction projects. I've heard of that. A data yeah, skeptic. Yeah. We, um, we talked about it last week. I, uh, you weren't here. I didn't realize you had dental surgery, but we were talking about it, so your ears might have been buzzing. So that feeling you felt... From the dental surgery was that excruciating pain. That was, no, no, it, was, it was the nice, wonderful heart feelings that actually felt good for a second. We were speaking about the prediction. Pro I had the talk you gave with Richard, but I have not. I am so behind on my on my podcast. You guys, I am embarrassed. I don't. I don't think I've listened to a podcast in a the weeks. You need I to set your player to two X. <laughs> yeah, get the room. <laughs> So I heard I heard Richard on Kyle's podcast today. I listened to that while I was um, doing something around the house, and uh, it was very confusing because I kept thinking it was a skeptic zone. I was waiting for reference to the cats and a dice game. <laughs> <laughs> did did Kyle run downstairs or anything? No, like that? that didn't happen either. There he were no stairs. There was no running. And it Adrian's was... voice wasn't on the show. It's like oh. Kyle, you got to run with scissors or something, you know, to make it exciting. We're in your property. I'll take that note. Yeah. <laughs> His <laughs> lovely, beautiful property that I, I'm dying to come and visit and see. <laughs> Next time you're in town. Yeah, very beautiful. Um, is there anything else I need to do? Is that it? Wow, that was that was great. So here's where our scores are. We're at um uh do, 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 do. we're at um I'll show you real quick. I'm making Lori co-host. So mm. Lori's next. 
share screen. Here's where we are right now as a reminder. So we're, wow, the team I was just on, wow, you, wow, look at how it just kicked out all of a sudden. Um, and everybody else is kind of wrapped up together. <laughs> and any, it's anybody's game. So I want to remind you, this is Lori's first time doing a category. It has been vetted by Richard Saunders. So if you hate it, you know who to blame. <laughs> Richard Saunders. Richard Saunders. <laughs> That's confident. If it's confusing or oh, it's upside down or anything like that. It's Richard's fault. Okay. So um, we're going to be kindness and sugar and, and our best behavior to Lori. <laughs> Right. All right. Okay. I can't wait to hear this wonderful category. I am oh my gosh, you guys. So much. Here we go. It's gonna be so much fun. It's Lori's <laughs> turn. All right. So yeah. Lori, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you all. I've made you co-host. Okay. So I'm, what's I'm the category? Well, you have to you have to tell us the, the oh, category so we can, oh, so we can oh, talk about how wonderful that is. The category. Well, actually, let me share my screen because I have a little PowerPoint here. Oh, wait a minute. That's that's my notes. Don't look at anybody. Everybody close Don't your look eyes. At it. Don't look at it. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes while I get this. Uh, Can I look slide now? Show. Slide show. Ah. No, I don't want to get better presentations. <laughs> Play from start. Here's the category. Okay, Ready? So you look. Ooh, like, oh, look. Ooh. That's nuts. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look, at, look at all those words. I know. Okay, you guys ready to go? Okay, so go. I'm gonna I'm gonna this. go through this because I put the questions on the PowerPoint. Oh, I have to mute you all. Can someone else do that? Because I've got my screen share on. That's Mike's job. Mike, can you mute everybody and then unmute me? Mm -hmm. You have to unmute yourself, Lori. All right, everybody ready to go? Okay, so first question. On November 27th, 1978, Dan White murdered San Francisco supervisor Harvey Milk and Mayor George Moscone, only in California, right? White's defense argued that due to underlying depression, White had eaten too many sugary sweets, Twinkies, and therefore was not guilty of first degree murder. The defense chose not to use the not guilty by reason of insanity plea, which would have made White not guilty of the crime. His defense pled a lesser sentence and it worked. White was convicted of manslaughter and served only five years in prison. In the, in the media frenzy that followed, the term Twinkie defense was coined. What is the actual legal term that was used to reduce White's sentence? Which of the following is not a symptom of schizophrenia? A, catatonia, B, multiple personality, C, disorganized behavior, D, hallucinations, E, abolition. Number three, this American philosopher, historian, and psychologist was the first ever to, to offer a psychology course in the United States. He is considered one of the most influential American philosophers and the founder of radical empiricism and the father of American psychology. This skeptic had a strong influence on Bertrand Russell, Bertrand Russell, the author of Why I'm Not a Christian. The psychology building at Harvard bears his name, as does my grandson. Name him. Name both the actress and the movie that horrified yet attracted moviegoers and drew attention to the mental illness borderline personality disorder. So much that therapists started using this character to illustrate the fatal nature of BPD. This actress is now an outspoken mental health advocate and set up a foundation to reduce the stigma around mental illness. What is the name of the authoritative volume that defines and classifies mental health, mental disorders and, and improves the consistency of diagnoses, treatments, and research? The name of the volume. Back to the movies. Name both the actress and movie based on the true story about the mental health struggles of Chris Coster Sizemore. 
Much of the movie's script was actually taken directly from the, from the notes from uh, Sizemore's psychiatrist. This was the first major role for this actress whose career spanned six decades. For this role, she won both the Academy Award and the Golden Globe for Best Actress. She became a major film star, producer, and philanthropist, along with her very handsome actor, producer, philanthropist husband. So I have a bone to pick with Richard because he should have known we're doing one answer per question. You have two already that have two answers. Oh. So you could do name either, or maybe one of the other ones could be a bonus or something like that. Oh, oh, um, well, I think we're gonna have a lot of trouble here then, sorry. Um, let's just, um, let's name the actress on both of those. Okay, thank you. So this, I don't know, okay. A.A. A. Milne, the author of Winnie the Pooh, served in both world wars and suffered from PTSD, leaving many psychologists to analyze and diagnose the psychopathology of the characters in Winnie the Pooh match the character with the closest mental disorder. I'll put all these in the chat, of course. Match the famous psychologist with the seminal book, which illustrates their primary the theoretical work and contribution to the field of psychology. And I apologize if these should have been one question each. Richard's ears are burning because I'm screaming at it, hit him in, internally <laughs> that he didn't pick up. You're just that. upset. Okay. Yeah, he wrong. didn't. So yeah, okay. he'll survive. He'll, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what? Okay. When one experiences a stressful event, just name the first one, the blank. The area of the brain that contributes to emotional processing sends a distress signal to the hypothalamus. Okay, so just name the one. This area of the brain functions like, oh, okay, just that, that's a hypothalamus. Okay, so just name one there. In 1971, Dr. Philip Zimbardo wanted to learn how individuals conformed in societal, societal roles. He wondered, for example, whether these tense relationships between uh, prison guards and inmates in jails had more to do with personalities or of each of each or the environment. Name the study. I have a bonus question if you want it. According to Stanford neurobiologist, Dr. Andrew Huberman, Huberman what is the only part of the brain that is not inside the skull? Okay. Let me now throw all of those in the chat. I think Richard Gosh. liked the question so much that he didn't call you on the on the multiples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Australians are very nice. He's just laughing because he's not here having to do them. <laughs> <laughs> they are good questions, Lori. Yeah. And yeah. it's a beautiful and, presentation. And don't try and paste everything at once because there's a character limit. So you gotcha. probably want to do a couple okay. questions at a time. I'm just doing one at a time, actually. Okay, good. Good, because I've got to put them on a spreadsheet. <laughs> okay, so okay. once he's getting, let, let her get the questions into here so that she, so that it um, everybody can read them. Because, because if you go to your rooms, I'm you won't be able to see what's in the chat. Guess, but, uh, so that gives you an extra couple minutes to think about what it is that you want. Mm. Okay, let's see here. One of my Sally fuels is good. Okay, you want to read the questions quickly and see if you can answer? That's first one, just go to the next one. This is a lot of remembering. I mean, I remember a lot of this. Jamie, you're not muted. Give us the answers, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, for number four, do you want us to give the actress or the movie? The actress. She okay. said the actress. Let me correct it in here. Oh, well, it won't, it won't let me correct we'll it. We'll be fine. We'll okay. be good. Yeah. Actress. You know, it's funny too, because one of the things that people find the hardest is dealing with the chat and the pasting and the copy. <laughs> I hear that from people who are doing the categories. They're like, oh my God, 
God, how do you get do it? I know it's doing, it looks know, effortless the way when you see somebody else doing it. You know, um, it's uh, let's see here. I have multiple screens, so it's easier for me. But my chat box and my the other boxes that I have open, when I click on other other areas, they disappear, and it's like, oh man, we're in that thing. Look at that! I gotta find the damn thing again. And they move. I hope this one works here. Now you said he's very handsome, actor, producer, philanthropist, husband. So now, I guess that handsomeness is is a clue or a opinion of of hers. I mean, is he really? Is there a citation to show that he is really that attractive? <laughs> you want me to show you a picture of him? No, I can't. Do yeah, that might be no, no. Just show it to me personally. I will let you know if it's. If oh I yeah. I don't think you'll disagree. Well, there's usually guys, not a whole lot of disagreement on things like beauty. Yeah, That's there's people. objective. There's objective ways to measure beauty. There are objective ways to measure beauty. Okay. Susan. Yes. Am I supposed to be in room number one? Nobody's been sent yet. Nobody's done. Oh, no one's wait a minute. Uh, okay. This one pasted it. I wanted right. her to get all the questions in the chat before anybody left. Mm. Otherwise, you okay. wouldn't see them. Oh, okay. You can also give us a link to your uh, presentation Perfect. if you yeah, have it. I don't have that. Okay. You can just cut and paste E in there and we'll have it all. It's okay. Look how nice everybody is. Look at, they can Thank be you. so nice. Okay, so this one right here, um, which is number nine, that's gonna have, be. Do you have all of eight? Is there E still for eight? Was there any? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Karen's just always nice though, so I guess. I know, Karen's always nice, thank you. I think that's because there's five names in four books. Oh. Yeah. So it's a not, trick. Is that not a mistake? No. For oh, what I you pasted. The, I didn't get all the names. Yeah, so well, some, the chat is, it only takes so many characters and it, it cut yeah. it out. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, here. But just cut and paste E and it'll be fine. We'll, we'll remember to look for it. Hold on. Oh, I know what the problem is. Okay, and there's only, they're really, um, yeah, well, there we go. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna completely redo eight. Okay. Does nine start with match the famous psychologist with the seminal book? No. No, this is eight. Eight does. Here's oh, that's eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that one. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Four, four and four. That's okay. it. Cool. Okay. So that was eight. Good. One less answer that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I figured I knew what the option was for the one you took out. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, sorry about that. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is- Thank you for your patience. Oh, that's fine. 
We've been right. through this many times with many new editor, new people, so it's not happening. Okay. And I'm and I am trying to paste everything into a, a spreadsheet that I keep, so I have to. Okay. It takes me a second to get it formatted right too, because I'm one of those really pain in the asses. Oh, so there is a bonus question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Mike. Or so we've got about I, I can send here. people in. I can do it. Let's send okay. you into breakout rooms. Well, I did. And I will add the people who aren't already getting a notice. Let me get to, for some reason or other, we're having a problem where people are not going to the, they're being thrown out of rooms. So Bob, oh. Larry, okay, Mike, you're going to go to four. It's that same room. That, Lori, you are, you can move around freely as much as you want, Lori. Okay. And I would suggest that you spend as little time as possible in your own room because that's going to be recorded and you can look at that. Oh. So, um, and okay. yeah, you might want to guard your face because. Guard my face? Yeah, because it's really hard not to give away. Oh, okay. So <laughs> when you're in a room, it's very hard. Larry, you were going to be in this one, which is, what are they? That's room three. Oh, that's room I'm going to. Okay, I think everybody else is. Assigned. I'm going to assign Lori to her room, but you don't have to go there. Okay. So it'll just make it so that whenever this rounds over, you'll be able to go back to your room. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Fantastic. Good job. Okay. A little bit. Hold, hold on. Larry's not in our. Larry's not on our team. Is he? Yeah, Larry is on your team. He just joined. Okay. Hi, Larry. Yeah. What now? So how do we answer? number uh number six no num okay, so what number have you guys the, one, the one with the, the one with the uh aa mill you know the winnie the pooh characters how do you do how do we answer that we answer that last if we have time so what have you guys gotten to the others yet no we'll we see. just started woodward which one? Oh, six. Okay. Which was, okay. Go through number one, the Twinkie defense. What was, okay. What was that question here? Let me look at that again. I remember this. So they want to know what the legal phrase actually was for the Twinkie defense that he, um, okay. So it's not the Twinkie defense. What, what, Nike okay. was the actual legal name. Yeah, his defense pled a lesser sentence and it worked. White was convicted of manslaughter and served only five years. Do you remember this, Larry? No. Could it just be temporary insanity? <laughs> no, they didn't go for the insanity plea, did well, they? Well, temporary insanity, because it says they didn't do. Everybody knows there ain't no sanity clause. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. Okay, so they did not use not guilty by reason of his insanity, but you know what? You might be right. Could it have been temporary insanity? But is that an official name? I've heard it. Could be. I think it was better than what I have now, which is nothing. <laughs> when he got the sugar out of his system, he was okay. Yeah, and when he got onto medication for his depression. Okay, so. Well, let's put that down for now. I, think I agree. Which of the following is not a symptom of schizophrenia? <coughs> what is abolition? No idea. Is it a, fray, a fear of birds? Well, actually, if something, <laughs> if you do something of your own volition means you've chosen to do it, a volition means you do things without uh, uh, oh, like a kleptomania or something? Where or you that, have yeah, no, you have no control over. So, what is not a type or symptom of schizophrenia? Catatonia, I would think. That's whenever you like shut down. That is a symptom of schizophrenia. Oh, okay. Well, multiple personality is. Yeah, there's different um, hallucinations. Yes, right. But they might, yeah. What's disorganized behavior? Is that you have that? Don't you know? I have, I have disorganized behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the opposite of OCD, where you just make a mess, where nothing can be straight? Maybe the maybe the answer is evolution. 
because I don't know what that is. But that would be too easy. It's her first time. Maybe she's. Well, let's put that down. We can come back. I will share my screen when we get to the uh, a, a Milne question. Oh, so okay. The thing is with the Milne question, there's a whole bunch of answers. How I'll share my question? screen. Okay. The American philosopher historian. Okay. This is somebody who had a strong influence on Bertrand Russell and her grandson's named after him or where is his name? Let's see. This American philosopher. I bet you as soon as I hear the name, I'm going to know it's right. I'm going to go, oh, well, duh. Hi, Sarah. <clears throat> I'm tapping on the screen. Sarah. Oh, I can't hear on. Oh, oh, I forgot she can't hear you because I'm wearing the microphone. <laughs> oh, we said hi. I also saw her face come into the screen like this. I wanted her to <laughs> like read, see if she knows any of this. Yes, please. Um, I, I bet you I know three. Okay, so number four, we're supposed to just name the actress. So this is three three faces of Eve, right? Right? Could be. Yes. Or the, the uh, Sybil. Sybil? Which was first? And what was the actress's name? Well, Joanne Woodward did the. Uh, you talking about number four? Yeah. I the thought three. it was Carrie, because it says scary, horrified. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And so her name, name, who is it? So, so um. Sigourney Weaver. No, no, no. A young gal. Yeah, Spacek, I can't think of you're Spacek, I think. Yeah, Sissy oh, Spacek. Spacek. Oh, that's right, the redhead. Uh, okay. Uh, can, can it can it be? I mean, we're talking about a particular thing called borderline personality disorder, and Carrie had uh, the ability to manipulate. Yeah, she things. moved things around te telepathically. Yeah. So, do, so you, do you think that's not this? It might that not doesn't be the same sound thing. like borderline personality disorder. <laughs> So do you, could it be the three faces of Eve? What was um or civil Sybil? What was Sybil. was it called Sybil? Sybil was, was the one with um multiple personality disorder. Yeah. So it was so it was three faces of Eve. And the actress was on Sybil, who was it? I mean, Sally Field, wasn't it? Was it Sybil Shepherd? No, Sally Field, I thought. Was this Sally Field? That could be the flying nun. Yeah, I thought it was her. And it says this actress is now an outspoken mental health advocate, so she's still alive. Could that be Sally Phil? She's still alive. Yeah, yeah she's still alive. I'm, I'm well, fine with that if you want to go with Sally Phil. But you think it was Joanne Woodward? <laughs> because Joanne Woodward is the answer for six. Oh, okay, oh. okay, so that's that's for six. So the, okay, the so five. For, we know that. Space, Sissy Spacek then. Okay, so number five is the DS. What is it called? DSM. Five, DSM five, right? Yeah. Okay, so is six, somebody writing the answers down? I think Jane's got it, right? Okay. Okay, so six is which is what is the answer for six? Joanne Woodward. What was the movie? Three Faces of Eve. Oh, and who's her husband? Paul, Paul Newman. Newman. Oh, that's oh. what he said. He's good looking. Okay. Newman's own philanthropy. He okay, does skip, the salad we'll dressing skip, um, and sauces and stuff. Let's skip the Winnie the Pooh for the second and just get the I other can one. do it right now, though, if you want me to share my screen. No, let's go to the last ones because they're okay. like one answer. Match the famous psychologist with the seminal book. Well, that's oh, wait, the same that's a matching one also. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Famous. Okay, number nine. When someone experiences stressful in the area, I don't know. Hippocampus. Could, could that no, that's that was the second word. 
Oh, the hypothalamus, she says. I thought the hippocampus was up here. I don't know. Could it, could it be the brain stem? Yes. Yeah, I, that's the third, first thing I thought was the stem. Okay. The because that's, outside that's of the where brain. all of your animal instincts uh, reactions in, occur. Okay, so number so, 10 know, is the, um, the prison experiment. It was called, um, not the 10? Stanford. 10 or 9? 10. It is, the study was called the, um, it's not the Stanford experiment, prison experiment. Is it Stanford prison experiment? It's very famous. The Stanford experiment. Oh, is this the one where they had the students, one, uh, one set playing the guards and one yeah. playing the prisoners? Was it called oh. Stanford prison experiment? It started with an S. I think it's Stanford. And it sounds like it would be held at Stanford. Let's put it up, put it down. Uh, okay, and the bonus, according to Stanford neurobiologist, Dr. The eyeballs. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. See, so I thought it was the stem. I thought the stem is like part of the, uh, it sticks out of the skull because it's part of, attached like the, the to the um, top of the spinal column, isn't it? Right. Well, all of the fluid in your spinal uh, spinal cord circulates through your brain, I believe. So, wouldn't the stem stick out of the brain, out of the skull, rather? I I, I think is it considered part of the the, brain? the the eyes are considered to be part of the brain brain, I believe. Okay. Okay. So go to your go to the Winnie the Pooh one. Okay, I'm going to share my screen then. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, it's a matching one, so let's see. Okay, Winnie the Pooh was... Uh, but, uh, eating disorder. That's C. Right. And okay. uh, Eeyore is depression. Yeah, Eeyore is depression. Tigger is the... Oh, is interesting. Tig, Tigger is a, a attention. No, Tigger is right. um. Tigger is hyperactivity. The, yeah, where is it? A. Wait, let me go. Let me attention, just fix the a. 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 Yeah. a. That's Tigger. I had never thought of this. That makes sense. Um, piglet, piglets, the, maybe the anxiety. Piglets, the anxiety. I didn't read enough of the, those books or uh, watch the cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> Eeyore's depression. And Rabbit definitely has OCD. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I never. But the, but the thing is, how do you get the point? Do you have to order? Do you have to answer every one of these to get the well, point? Well, we'll yeah. have the whole point. So that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So oh, we get a minute. Shoot. Dang. Um, the last one. Who did witness for the defense? That was uh, that was Elizabeth Loftus. That was one of our questions before. Studies in hysteria was uh, Sigmund Freud, right? Uh, hierarchical of needs. I don't know, but somebody guess. I don't know. Uh, just pick. I'm Who would have been more one. likely to have written about the child? A woman? Or he that's why I doesn't know anything about children. PRJ <laughs> did studies of uh, infants. Okay, so put her Perfect. for four. Yeah. All right, and then the other one we don't have is that one B, wasn't it? Oh, we're, we have no time. Good job, you guys. So what'd you think of that, Lori? When you go into the rooms and you listen to people discussing That's questions, fun. yeah, I, it's one of my favorite things to do. Is, yeah. a, is you're just like, oh my god, you're on the wrong track, or, or <laughs> no, I was really, I actually, it. I was, I was just out, out of the wall, just like as I always up? am with you guys. So, um, all right, do you want me to? Everybody's give back. You, everybody back? I think so. It looks like, so. yeah, time ran out, so we should all be okay. back. Okay. Okay, so let me share my Some screen. of these were really hard. And some of them were really fun. They were so. And I, uh, Lori, I loved the whole Winnie the Pooh thing. That was so fun. <laughs> yeah. I had never thought of that before. 
Yeah, that, I thought I, I thought that would be fun. Okay, let's go for the answers. You ready? Let's see. Yeah. This here. Okay, oh. Dan White, diminished capacity or diminished oh. responsibility, and that. Oh. Actually, yeah, that that um, defense was actually. Um, then banned by the California Supreme Court, I think that they didn't because everybody was just such in such an uproar be, that he only served five years in prison. Look at the size of a Twinkie. I know. <laughs> I don't even know Twinkie I've ever been done. Yeah, yeah. Really? I, 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 I found oh, that I know. picture. I found so that if, picture if I there. ever have a hanger, that's Donald Trump holding it. I just, yeah. Yeah. I just said <laughs> Trump's hands. <laughs> How big is this? Is a so lot Susan, of porn tonight, you guys. How big? Susan, you're saying size matters? <laughs> only for Twinkies. Only for exactly. Only for Twinkies. Okay. So, hey, Madam so. just saw in Hollywood they have like a wall of people's handprints. And uh -huh. my hand is bigger than Donald Trump's. I'm just oh, I put it, it in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So wait a minute. So wait, wait, wait. Go back, please. So yes, yes. So uh, uh, another a synonym for diminished is reduced, and we put reduced capacity. Is that acceptable? Mm. Is it? Is that what it's called? Be nice. For the legal term. It's, it's, the nice. it's actually the legal term. It's diminished capacity. Ah. Uh. Ha! That's pretty close, though. God. You're not on my team, so I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> up. I, would, I would. I'll be on their not team later, but not yeah. right now. What's their nice, nice try? What do the, the lawyers new say? What do the lawyers <laughs> say? Robin, <laughs> Robin, oh, yeah, we do. Robin, lawyer's opinion. You? Peggy's not here tonight, so I, I, told, I know. Peggy, Peggy told but, me to tell everybody not to kill anybody this week. Well, we might, and I told mm -hmm. her. I said, we have someone. I was feeling when I wrote this. Let's go on. Okay, so multiple, most multiple personality people so often mistake schizophrenia. Oh, of multiple I didn't yep. know that. Yeah, it's yep. it's a common thing because, and it. I think it started with the movie movie Sybil and yeah, right. all yeah. That, where they We're not even sure them. multiple personalities. It means literally split mind. Well, in um. It's not yeah, a thing TikTok, in the DSM. Anyway, it's yeah, not it's in the not. DSM. Uh, dissociative identity disorder, which would be the equivalent of multiple personality disorder, is rife on TikTok. Oh, yeah. it is? That's right. Oh, yeah, it's a thing. Look up DID oh. or DID systems on TikTok. It's, oh, really? I didn't know that. It is yeah. the new social phenomenon. Everybody's got to have it. Oh, All <laughs> personalities have to have it. <laughs> my, my, my little boy, George, here. Yeah. It's a little boy. I'm a little oh. boy, George. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there is my grandson. Oh, look at him. William, James, Hall. I would never William James in front of William James Hall at Harvard. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh his last name isn't Hall. What? His William last name James Hall. Hall. Yeah, and BF Skinner's laboratory is in there. And um, it's, it is actually the ugliest building on campus, to tell you the truth. But it looks like a big, you know, like. like Wait, of, his lavatory? Well, uh, his lavatory. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> what an adorable the grandson you have right there, so Lori. He's William absolutely James. adorable. Yeah, I know. Isn't he great? Yeah, that, so he's named William James. So, okay. Ah, Glenn Close. Oh, oh Glenn Close. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fayla oh, Tuck, I didn't even think of her. Oh. I gave you hints in that. Yeah. So yeah, um, bipolar, um, I'm sorry, uh, borderline personality disorder. She just, it was very, very exaggerated, but it's such a great example. Of I that. never saw this movie. Yeah. Good oh, movie. It's, I thought it, it was Francis Farmer talk to some and of my clients. If you talk to some of my clients, it wasn't uh, exaggerated at all. Oh, I, yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Robin has and to go for this all the time. Yeah. And Susan, he gave the nickname Bonnie Boyla. Yeah, Bunny Boiler. Yeah. 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 Susan, if you ever see boilers. it, look after you see the movie, look up what the original ending was. I won't say what it was, but the audience went nuts at the pre-screen at the screening and they changed the ending because people were furious. Really? Oh. oh, oh, I've got to look that up. I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 The original ending. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I gotta look that up too. Yeah, and and so now she has started a very uh, thriving nonprofit. Um, her sister had a uh, mental illness, and so now yeah. she's a spokesperson for reducing the. I wouldn't even recognize her if she passed me on the street. I have no idea who Glenn Close is. I know the name though. I know she's an actress, but that's it. That's she went to my college. Never seen him. She went Gender to William and Mary. I went to William nope. and Mary. 
Okay, originally, did anybody get diagnostical, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental no. Disorders? The I whole put DSM-5. We, 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 we just showed DSM-5. We got the version. Yeah. Yeah. We said DSM. I, I wrote I, it with I, Roman numeral 5, so I'm sure that's not good. I put DSM-5. No, we put the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't write it with the hyphen. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, that's okay, but... but you didn't put the hyphen, Deborah? No. No point. So, so it's not the Holy Bible? No. So, so I originally wrote this question having you tell the whole mm -hmm. thing, and I thought that was pretty... Yeah, you would have zero but, points. Yeah. No, no, we, I have one on my shelf here because my wife's a therapist, and I know all about it. Okay. We would not have had zero points. And I would have got it, too. I had a written note. Oh. Parents put the original ending, so don't look at it if but you But don't look Yay. at it. Okay, does anybody Check recognize one? This is three, three faces, faces of Eve. Eve. Three faces Eve. of Eve. Who's the actress? Do you recognize her? Joanne Woodward. Joanne Woodward. Joanne Woodward. Yes. Jane knows. And her and her husband Paul Newman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And they went on. Remember, they did Newman's Own, and she was yeah. involved in that. And yeah. you know, we've gotten grants from them for years, and yeah. So, so that's uh, and the for your faces, syrup. What's that? No grants no. for the syrup. <laughs> no, um, but. But um, you know, this is this is a movie about multiple personality, yeah, uh, uh, right. multiple personality. So, and she wasn't schizophrenic; she had multiple personality disorder. Okay, Winnie the Pooh, let's do this. Okay, I have a little link here. I'll see if it'll work. Oh, look how clever her thing is! Let's play it for a little while. Take off the volume, or should we have volume? No, uh, I, you, I have. No, you're going to get. You, you you better stop recording. Wonderful adventures. Yeah. Now, okay, I'll show you. Pause. One day. Darn! So, so, I'm really glad we didn't record that. <laughs> yeah. If anything bad happens to Richard, I'm going to feel really bad. <laughs> so stay, uh, <laughs> Susan, stay away from your Twinkies. That's all. <laughs> so, so Jane, Jane, you were keeping score for us. We did get the ones that I had on yeah, my screen. We got correct? them. So that's all I care about. And what the bonus. So what was we that, got those Marie? two and the bonus. What's that? Oh, <laughs> um, um, so according to the rules, which I wasn't aware of, um, so the Winnie the Pooh matching category would have been like five or six. Um, six questions. questions. Yeah. Okay. Or a bonus or something if you had put 10. Okay. Right. But so we're, we're just, just going to count it as it one. Say all or nothing, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah all or nothing. Right. Yeah. 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 It makes us yeah. keep this on our toes. So we're ready yeah. for scores. You guys got it? With and they were the, quick, Lori, too. So yeah, it wasn't that hard. It didn't take that long. Only, only, you know, the special people got it, but. <laughs> no, we, we, we got them all, but just, I'm, you know, I'm going by the legal yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, so let's go with uh, Hawaii is a tenth of the cost. We have nine. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so Oive, Californification, A. Eh? A? Eh? Six. How, I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> Six. Six. Okay, cool. And I thought it was the dog barking. Plagues, natural disasters, and death in the sky, and all around just depressing stuff. I get seven. Is that, is that agreed seven. by the team? Yes, Ooh. seven. Okay, so happy anniversary, Joe Biden. Yay! Six. Yay, Ness. Yay, Ness. And Today's weird one portal. Well, there goes one. our perfect score. We got eight. Uh, oh, look, that brought some change, didn't it? It bumped them up a little bit. Yeah, I think it did We're make us bottom. a little bit closer. Lori, that's a really good score. You're looking for an average of about seven, and that's about seven. That's more like an eight. So very good. So next time you might want to go a little harder. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So you want to average it about seven, right? I was going to make some really pornographic comment in response to what you just said. <laughs> it's like a whole category for another week. <laughs> sure. Now that you're no longer a trivia category virgin, you can. Yeah. <laughs> she lost her virgin. You know what? Wait a minute, though. I need to tell you guys. Um, Joanne Woodward is 92. Wow. She's still alive. No, don't, don't say that. Oh, uh, Is she alive the last time we checked? Oh, just God. killed her. Wait, did you just check? <laughs> no. oh, I never, never mentioned that on the show. Betty White oh, her. 
God. Thanks a lot. <laughs> anyway. 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 Nobody died Anyway. last week. Who is it? Nobody died last week. Oh, no. Someone someone oh. from one of my trivia questions died the other day. Who? No. Do you remember the one where I asked hey, why? the six actors who played either Hannibal Lecter or Hannibal Smith? Yes. That one guy that nobody knew, the French guy who played Hannibal in Hannibal Rising. Oh. Yeah. Died the you see the day. guy that died? He died in a skiing accident. I saw that. Oh. I, I heard of that guy, yeah. yeah. And he was young. So do we rename this tragic trivia? Jesus. Tragic <laughs> trivia <laughs> Thursday. Yeah, so somebody explain really quickly the people who were missing about Betty White and how Peggy we killed, killed her. We killed Bo Betty White and Bob Saget. Yeah, we mentioned them in our trivia. And then they didn't just mention them. Oh, didn't just mention them. Know, they Specifically died. for Betty White, it was, oh, is she still alive? Did you it check? It was the next day. And the next day she died. Yeah. And then the oh, following okay. week, someone said something about Saget. We talked for a few minutes about Bob Saget, and then he died. And then he died a couple days later. <laughs> Uh-oh. A friend of mine was flying on uh, Southwest Airlines uh, uh, a few years ago, and uh, I said, you'll be safe on Southwest. Uh, it's uh, They've not had any fatalities on board their flight, any of their flights ever. The next day, they had the uh, their first fatality on flight on on their when the air engine exploded. Can the, can we talk about Donald Trump? <laughs> it's still alive. I think we, I think we did he try that. that, and I think it backfired. I think we need a category on him. As painful as that would be, actually, we had a category. I think it was the first, the second game we ever played. I'm trying. Oh, was on, too many yeah, Twinkies. So. Susan, do you have me down Should for a category next week? <laughs> Is <laughs> <laughs> oh, that a volunteer? I hear, I hear yes, I do, babe. Yes. Yes, I do. I hear evil good. in that voice. Dun dun dun. So very good. Good job, Lori. What'd you think of it? Was it scary? Oh no, it was it was fun. It was so fun. And I like the hands. I just didn't know about the multiple choice one. And when you go into the rooms okay. and the discussions are the best. I, I like the hints when you like put the thing about being scary into the yeah. question and, and i didn't was get it I, I completely yeah did. we i thought it was carrie at first and said no yeah. she didn't have that disorder so who else could it be mm -hmm. and we, we didn't get i like those when they're figure of audible okay so we have deborah's up next um and next week i have rob faith and james i'll do one yeah. carl and i need a bonus i got a Ooh. bonus it's not good, Carl. Games. When, when, when no, you James, you're doing a category. When you okay. do, you when you and I do a category at the same time, because that means we can't be on the same team, and you'll be no help to my team with my questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the bonus. All right, <laughs> Robin. Okay, I so got the bonus. I've got a full. I've got a full team for next week, and I haven't even in the team yet. I'm. Wow, jeez, what is the world coming through? Is Donald? Did somebody check to see if Donald Trump is still alive? Yeah, we should. When's the Should last time you did a category, Susan? How old is he anyway? <laughs> 102. 75. I, I don't remember you the last time. Of a I milestone did. birthday? That's a good thing. Very good. All right, Deborah. Deb Deba 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 Baba Deba Deba. Do you hear what um Stephen Colbert called him? Dearth, wind, and liar. <laughs> <laughs> he won't say his name. Did you see? He's only collect he only says his name. It's always somebody's um They've got a Twitter uh, hashtag that says he shall who shall not be named and they keep sending in names. And so he says them and he puts down who it was who suggests the name is. Oh, okay. and, and instead of doing a uh, impression, he has some nat naughty Poor little child. 10 year old yeah, um, a little boy with a high pitched voice. <laughs> he reads the rants. They're funny. Is it? OK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He is still alive, right? Um, I see no chat. indication. Yeah. I see no indication of a recent death. Okay, not yet. That's okay. his part. And we are recording this, so go ahead, Deborah. Get us out of this before we get in trouble. If something happens to him. I thought okay. the is they have to be beloved. All okay. right, troops, line up. Woohoo! <laughs> so um, this category is about potatoes. Yay! Yeah. I like potatoes. Potatoes? And their, and their relatives. So not just potatoes. Oh. Okay. So the first, and it's a multiple, this one's a multiple choice. How many types of potatoes are there? And this, oh. most of these answers are from Wikipedia. Oh, let me go to, oh. Um, <laughs> Mike, can you mute us? 
<laughs> so Susan can go to Wikipedia. Otherwise, it'll just be old jokes about potatoes and and porn. All right, let's see. Unmute yourself, Deborah. Unmute yourself, Deborah. Okay, I was just muttering. Is there a plus or minus on that? How many types? No, there. It's a multiple choice. So either one thousand to one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, two thousand to two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, three thousand to three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, four thousand to four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, or five thousand to five thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Okay. All right. Types species. Not that it's uh, like types, and that's why I mentioned the Wikipedia thing. It's no, it's not species. So this is like the uh, Christian apologetic word kinds. How many? Kinds yeah, well, like, like, no, no, like named cultivars. hybrids, maybe Something named hybrids. Like that. I think it's known kinds that people use. Varietals like wine. Yeah, there you go. That's that's a good way to put it. Okay, question number two. How many calories are in a 5.3 ounce potato, including the skin, but not including the butter and cream cheese and or whatever, sour cream, whatever. And that's plus or minus five. Okay. Um, number I heard three. somebody whispering. Mm. What? That is Rob, he's whispering. Well, so, and this is really kilocalories, right? <laughs> no, because they're, yeah, we use that word wrong. I believe right. it was muttering the word you were looking for, Susan. He was muttering. Di dietary calories. <laughs> it's okay. like the ones that they put on the labels of your food, you know, like it says how many calories they are. Calories. Those okay. calories. Big C yeah. calorie. Yeah. According to the Wendy's menu. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. it, it, uh, have you got it converted for the Canadians? <laughs> Now, now we that see the difference range. between someone doing a new category. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, this is what you could have gone through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're only right. in question two. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. This is okay, numbers... time, Lori. <laughs> I thought you guys I, were all I, muted. I, 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 <laughs> you muted. Yeah. We, have, <laughs> we can do it how to unmute. <laughs> I mean, it's just a general statement. Don't, don't let them unmute themselves. Whoever <laughs> them Seriously. Then they all ping me. Why can't I be unmuted? What's going on? Right. <laughs> Is that after cooking the potato or before cooking the potato? It yeah. did. I didn't say. What if you use oil in the? I think mostly that what comes out of the potato is water anyway. When you right, but that causes a weight difference. But oh, um, yeah, the weight I think is before you cook it. Okay. I don't know. It didn't say, but I'm assuming that that's what it is. Because how, well, how else would you do it? Okay. <laughs> Number three. All but one of the following potato relatives are native to the Americas. Name the exception. And the, um, and the different ones are tomato, peppers, the sweet and hot kinds of peppers, eggplant, and tomatillo. And George. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know why this came up. It's because I have Debra, Deborah's mashed potato <laughs> whip. Um, at my house. Oh yeah, <laughs> since Thanksgiving. <laughs> a gravy it's, it's, a, it's a gravy whip. It's still yeah. sitting in the front of my car in case I see you somewhere. You'll be walking alongside the road. And I'll say, "Here's <laughs> Jack right all those <laughs> 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 the head. So this is a passive aggressive hint for you to return it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Well, you got to have mashed potatoes. You got to have a half potato. hour drive to get subliminal. To yeah. yeah. Okay. Question number four. In addition to the tomato at least two other economically and scientifically important potato relatives, also native to the Americas, are sold worldwide, but are not used for food. Name one of them. All right, number five. This is just a yes or no, true or false question. So it should be, should be a, almost a gimme, I guess. 
Did the Mr. Potato Head game ever use real potatoes? Mm -hmm. um, number six, potatoes and potato plants can contain a toxic substance. What is that substance? Cocaine. <laughs> Tomato cane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, this one's a little bit longer. According to Smithsonian Magazine that I found online, one potato relative, the tomato, was not immediately accepted by most Europeans as being safe to eat. When seeds were first brought to Europe in the 1590s, the plants were only grown for ornamental purposes. According to researchers, by what year were, quote, hundreds of tomato recipes available in local US periodicals and newspapers? And that's going to be a plus or minus 30 years. So any year. Hopefully it all fits in here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And eight. Another potato relative has had many extreme and unsubstantiated claims of various health benefits derived from consuming the fruit, sometimes referred to as a wolf berry. One species is also called matrimony vine and another is called Chinese desert thorn. Under what more common name would you find these in a store? George. <laughs> Not quite that common. Oh, okay. We're not on first name basis. No. Okay. Okay, now this one's a little long. And I hope somebody I hope somebody gets it, but I think I found it really amusing. In the movie A Perfect World, there is the following dialogue. Tom Adler. They got T bones in the fridge. Naomi Perry. Now, I don't think we should eat that. Those were ordered special for the governor, Tom Adler. And tater tots, Naomi Perry. We might not approve of this. Chief Red Garnet, that's so? Hmm, I do like tater tots. Who plays, what actor plays the chief in that movie? And 10, the Irish potato famine lasted seven years. Name one of those years. Ooh. Plus or minus? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> nope, that is already plus or minus. <laughs> <clears throat> and I have a bonus. Oh, we might need a. Um, <laughs> okay, so. Astronomers recently discovered a, quote, potato-shaped planet orbiting a star 1,800 light years from Earth. It was first detected by the transit method in 2014. The shape is the result of deformation due to intense tidal forces. This gas giant planet is larger than Jupiter and much closer to its star with a very short orbital period. I'm sure Leonard can explain the physics. Identify the star. Okay, there you go. Great. Wonderful. Have fun. Potatoes. I Potatoes. love unusual things. Potatoes. I figured, you know, something to eat. That always sounds good. So that's the bonus. Okay, so I need to put some people back in some rooms, right? I guess because we get lost again. I think so. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, I'm looking all these people around a sign. Here, let me put you in a room. So it'll take me a second here. Okay, so Alan, first on the list. Yeah, I want to go to my room, Susan. Three. <laughs> ben, who's not complaining, is going to get next. He's going to room <laughs> two. Deborah is the person in charge and put her in four. You don't have to go there. Bob, who's not complaining, is in four. 
Jamie, who's not complaining, is in room one. Karen, who's always so wonderful and pleasant, I'm going to put her in her correct room, which is two. You're missing all the opportunities here to say, go to your room. I can't. I can't put them because go Carl is, they're not, they're not in the room. So Carl, you are in two. Kevin, who's also been very nice. Um, you're in three. three. Leonard, who's being very quiet, unusually very calm about the whole thing is in one skipping paula rob is in <laughs> robert is in room god where the hell are you at rob's in four four robin welsh is in one one, She's in one. one. She's in one. yeah there she is one paula in... you are in oh wait Lori, you're not in your room five, five. I did go to my room, but nobody was there. So yeah, Lori, you should be able to go to your room. Yeah. It's, you're assigned to five. Who, who who have I got left? Paula? Oh, she's in two. So is everybody ready? Oh, you should have it. Oh, I got it. Because I've I'm still I still have the, the powers to I think I took your powers away. Oh, I can go. But you should be able to go to your room. So I'm going to four. See ya. Are in their collections. Hi T. But oh. uh I'm here to talk you out of things. <laughs> yeah, th this, I, is, this is going to be the lighthouse category. I would guess that yeah. that no. in their gene bank they really must cool. have five thousand or more. You uh, have you have a geneticist here three. on the team. Mm. Yes, who's frustrated with the question? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't overthink it, Janine. Okay, so where so are what you guys did we at? say? Did you say E for the, for e. the largest number for one? Janine? A, a type means nothing. That's I have I, no I, idea. I, I, how come you didn't question her? I questioned her. I, 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 thought that I was know ridiculous. it was like, what does Wikipedia say? So I don't know. Oh. If type means the number of genotypes in the gene bank, I would guess they have 5,000 or more in the gene bank in Peru. All right, let's go with that. Yeah. Better than anything. I don't know. <sighs> Number two, this is such a tight range. You might as well just ask for it exact. Yeah. Aren't they like 230 or something? Jeez. That's a very good guess. I would say something like that. 5.3 ounces. I can't even picture. Is that a big potato? What is that? I don't know. I think that's like a fist sized potato. I don't know. So if I pick up a chocolate bar, I can tell you how many calories because they're all pretty much 200 something. 210, yeah. 220. 2,000. Yeah. It, it might not be. Are we on question two? Yes. Yeah. It might not um, be that much. It's going to be about 105. No. Maybe 180. No, wait, wait, wait. No, you're, see, not, you're doing it's it. It's got to be 200 plus. You're talking us low. No, I don't like that. A calories with nothing on it? Just a plain potato? It's like Happy freaking starch. It. Yeah, potatoes are surprisingly low in calories, just on their own. Yeah, I thought it was close to phytotoxin. I wish I remembered the details of the movie The Martian, because that's all he ate for a year. Oh, and that's they, right, they he kept did. kept talking about it. Yeah. Also, Ben Gillette's diet. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did, too. So he was just eating starch, huh? Why? Wow. Lost a ton of weight. More like as a palate cleanser, you just do it for two weeks. And then that uh -oh. sort of clears your taste and your expectations, so you're not oh, interesting. craving okay. butter. So are, are we going with uh, uh, with Janine's first guess? Two thirty sounds good. One eighty. Oh no, Ooh, that sounds a little That's low to me. Too high. Why are we going so low? You know, we second guessed my uh, oh. my maple syrup idea. That we is did. true. And, and, oh, and was... oh, let it go. I said I was sorry. <laughs> he wants a written apology in calligraphy. <laughs> but I did get Bird of Paradise. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was very good. That was a last minute yeah. win. No, oh, your chicken got bird point. of paradise. His chicken did. Oh, oh, can we move on to another question? Uh, yeah, I got, do, get the ones do we I have know. a number on two? Because we're only on two. Two thirty. Two thirty. Three. All but one of the falling potato rooms. I think Tomatillo. Eggs, Tomatillo? That's yeah, native, right? Very, yeah, they're very southwestern. I, I think they're native because. So how about um, eggplant? Eggplant. Eggplant. eggplant? eggplant, yeah. 
eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. they're more, yeah, because they're, there are, um, okay, no room for explanations. Number four. Number four. This Name is one. kind of weird to me. Um, Economically, uh, scientifically tobacco. important. Tobacco. What? Tobacco. It's on the oh. nightshade family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, nightshade. Yeah. yeah, they're all nightshades. Yeah. yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't have got that. Tobacco for sure. is the one I'm thinking of. She's uh, evil. Tobacco, that Deborah. Tobacco is a potato. Deborah's an evil, uh, evil I woman. Mean, they're in the nightshade. Family. Evil they're woman. In Sol- Solana- yeah, Solanaceae. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Potato Head. Really? Use real potatoes? Could it have like been? Like, the first that? ones I got did. My mother really? said she had okay. that, yeah. Okay. yeah. Where would you use a potato? In a box? Or you, it was just the parts that you so put them on the potato? Yeah, you went in the, the kitchen and no got no the no potato no. from Grandma, and then you put okay. your little things in it. Okay, pipes. that makes sense. Yeah. I like that. And, they should bring it back. There was a magnetic version of Mr. Potato Head. The body had like a metal... Okay, moving on. Moving on, Bob. We're going to run out of time. Six. Features were magnetic. Toxic substance. I don't remember that. So this is a problem because everything is toxic at a certain dosage. So I, um, I, I, no, guess, I, I, um, I guess I'd have to go the most toxic substance. So it's a phyto, phytotoxin, uh, solanaceae, solan, solan, solanine. Translate that into real language there. Solanum, something like that. Is it arsenic? Uh, no, it's, no, uh, it's it's a phytotoxin that's specific. So, so how do you spell sol- that? Solanine, S- solanine. S O L. I kept thinking it was a tannum, but uh, my husband s- says it's solanine. S O L. S O L, A N I N E. Solanine. Okay, thank you. Ah, seven. Uh, relative not accepted. Seeds. What the- by what year hundreds of tomato recipes available in the US? Okay. Does they so somebody tried, didn't somebody tomatoes? To tomatoes mind. had a really hard time to be accepted and the um did they get the, to play reindeer grant uh, games or <laughs> potato games? No, the, um, you know, like your 4-H master gardener, what's the word, I'm not, your extension agent went out, they worked with the, the kids and they did, you know, kind of gardens, master gardens and stuff. So um, I think that it's in the late 40s, maybe. 19, 1940s? 1940s uh. or something. Maybe maybe the 30s. All right, so we have plus or minus 30 years. So you want to go earlier then? I go earlier to bring it up to then. the 1950s. Yeah, earlier. Yeah, it might. Let's see. So the agricultural colleges were formed during Lincoln's administration, <clears throat> and it was really, I would say, maybe even. But she's asking for hundreds of tomato recipes. Yeah, but she's talking about Europe, and then she says recipes yeah. in Europe, periodicals. And- According to researchers, what year, by what year were hundreds of tomatoes recipes available in the local U.S. periodicals and newspapers? And the reason I, I thought the 30s or 40s was because there was the gardens and okay, things so needed to be so made. Okay. Let, let's I, say, I know let's there say. was a president who oh. was who died in office after only being he the rain came down and he died really quickly and they thought it was because he had been eating tomatoes. So, so it was that year. I th- I thought it was tomatoes. Ben, is it Benjamin Harrison? It was somebody who served a very short short time, not even a year, yeah. I don't think. And so, what year would that have been? Because I know, so my point is, is that at that time, tomatoes were still seen as a bad thing. Yeah, they were seen as poisonous, and it was was hard to get them adopted. And the uh, the extension extension agents worked very hard to get 
So we need a date. We're what year was that president? Do you remember, Bob? Uh, Benjamin, <laughs> is it Benjamin Harrison? It could be. So that would have been about 18... Yeah. 80s? Yeah, at 1800s. So let's say 1910. That brings us yeah. up to 1940, sure. possibly, as the latest. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, or not, yeah. Is this okay. 18... 1882. Okay, so eight. Yeah. Another another potato relative. Substantiated this claims. Wolfberry. Anybody know this one? <laughs> Rise fruit in quotes. Maybe it's not. It's really a vegetable because it. Well. well. No, every plant. If a, a plant has a seeds, it has a fruit. That it, it's not. A, it's a botanical term. Not a culinary. I think because because tomatoes are seen as vegetables, but they're, they're actually tubers, a right. fruit. Are the they fruit tubers? of that? Not tubers. Yeah. Oh, potato. Okay, so the question is, what is the common a common name you would find in the store for another potato relative? Any extreme? I can't think of anything. Matrimony else. vine. Chinese desert thorn. I'm assuming fruit. Like love apples or something? A wolfberry. A right, wolfberry. Mm -hmm. It's not eggplant? Never is heard a, of a wolfberry. No. Is there a thing called a love apple? There was something that I had a category once, and I think we called it a... I had a category in apples once. Oh. And it was... I think there was a love apple. But it wasn't really an apple. It was in the. It was something that the Chinese were calling. It was another. It was another word for some kind of apple, and in, in the Chinese were using it. Let's come back to that. Okay, so I don't have a clue. I've never seen this perfect world. Never seen the movie either. Anyone? Oh, I think maybe mm -hmm. Kevin Costner was in that movie. So yeah, going, Kevin Costner, I can see him talking about tater tots. Yeah. Okay, the Irish potato famine was in the 18... 1850s. 1850s. The 1850s. Right. Yeah, because it was before the yeah, because it was before that the Civil War. Right. Because they all came over and then they were drafted and got gangs in New York. Yeah. They were already there and then they so got drafted. Are we going with late 50s or early 50s? Seven years. 1850, 1854, 1856, because the okay. Civil War was um, 1865, 1862. So it was before the first, the Civil War. So 1854. Yeah, but it would be what number is that one? That is um, number 10. 10. <clears throat> well, 54? if you're sure it's 1850s, then let's just put 55. It gives us a reasonable. No, there's, rate. yeah, that's no, but there's no plus and yeah, minus on that. 55. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no. Well, seven years. years seven yeah. years. I get it in the seven years. Okay, that sounds good. So, who knows about this potato planet? No idea. Say Beetlejuice. Ooh. Is that, is that that close? Don't say it three times, though. That's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was that close. To I don't know. So, which question Michael are we missing Keaton. an answer to? I couldn't take Michael Keaton right now. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, eight. It's a potato relative with the Chinese desert thorn. And I don't know about why, why did you say Beetlejuice, Mike? Did that yes, ring a bell a, or are you just a wild it's guess? A, it's a star that I know. Oh. I'll get <clears throat> yeah, I. I, I have not heard this. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what's the nearest star? <clears throat> Proxima, Proxima. Alpha Centauri is nearest. Alpha. Proxima, Proxima Centauri. I believe Proxima Centauri is actually the near one. A yeah. cran apple for uh, uh, question eight? Um, if, if no one has an objection, the that's an apple. apple. It sounds familiar. 
Cranberry. That's apple. juice. That's apple and cranberry juice in a bottle. I, yeah. <laughs> well, it seems like there was something I never. Called, um, I love apple. Crab apple. I, um. I had oh, medlar. No, because that's yeah, not a I had, a, I had a, a a gardening book all about perennials, and there was this thing in the salon. It was very thorny. It was like a hedge. It was very thorny. It had these little fruits. I didn't know if you could eat them or not, but it, I wanted to get the seeds for some. There, it was in the Solanum family, and it had these little round striped fruits. The, the so, thing is so thorny. That, that was the thing. It was very. So how about that one with the weird name that they, they like that they sell as, as a superfood now and like chocolate covered uh, akia berry or something? Acai? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that possible? Acai. Was it because we're talking about berries here? I don't think that's in the potato family. In the Solanaceae. I'm not going to get anything better. I mean, if you don't have anything, but it's love apple. I, I'm fine with love, love apples. I don't care. Okay. Love apple. I don't yeah. know any love better. Apple. I like the I, 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 yeah 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 because I think sold those. I, I've never heard of a love apple. I've never heard of it being health benefits. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. It's a big. There's a lot of funky plants in that group. That's okay. a huge, well, we have huge wild group. guesses for everything. What did we get um, for 10? What did we put down for 10? Uh, 1855. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong place. What was nine? Kevin Costner. Okay, I'm going to go back and call everybody in. Okay. okay. Mm. I can't think of any of those. I can't think more for that one. I'm amazed about the tobacco being related. What did we do for one? And e, e, e. Oh, E. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and, and rolled up there. So Petunias are closely related to tobacco. Petun is the native word for tobacco. A potato and a tobacco. Petunias, yeah. Okay, we need a miracle to pull out from this one. I think we're like eight behind or something like that now. Damn. Oh my God. Well, I'm here, so it should be all okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll get 10. <laughs> Good job, team. It's <laughs> kind of what you can draw on. I love it for Photoshop. I want to be given a Cintiq, oh my God. It's so amazing. What's a Cintiq, Adrian? <laughs> you got given a Cintiq? We didn't get I did. Wow. Yeah, more than my well, someone must I think it's worth more than any car I've had. I didn't get a Santique. I have no idea what it is. And I don't get one, so I'm kind of upset now. <laughs> it's my middle uh, monitor. And I use it for my tutoring too right now. It's great for COVID, you know, tutoring because yeah. I write on it, you know, write yeah, on I'd it. Rather, and share my screen have, and... Yeah, I'd rather have that than my bamboo thing ah, for drawing. Uh, I really want to yeah. get one of those. I had one of those. Things for years and then uh, for my photography and I also use it in the classroom for drawing on the smart board. And mm -hmm. then my husband got me this Cintiq for my photography. What he didn't realize is how awesome it was going to be for my teaching because mm -hmm. then I was able to, in, in mat, within math type, there's a little thing part where you can write the equations and it automatically puts it into a formula, like the actual math. Oh, wow. Script. Mm -hmm. So it saves so much time for making tests and anything <laughs> like that. So I use it more for my work in the end versus my photography and everything else. But now I'm using it for all kinds of things. So it's great. Is everybody back? Yep. Are we ready for some answers? Yeah. Sure. I think that was fun. Well, good. Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. I, I, I love think... topics that are really broad and weird and, and something we haven't had before and not have anything to do with science fiction or music i know yeah me too <laughs> you think everything well, i'm gonna learn about eight things out of this question 
right? <laughs> Only <laughs> Kevin does a Mr. Potato Head picture. I just noticed. It. I know. Oh, awesome. I know. That's, that's he's got funny. a photo for everything. He does. I was just going to say that. It's amazing. That's a half but he's in. building. Uh, just something. I'm just surprised he could find it. there. there. That's right. the Hasbro Question. building in Pawtucket, Mass Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Pawtucket. Okay. Hasbro? Question number one. How many types of potatoes are there? Over 5,000. So oh, wow. Whoa. Damn it. They didn't give an exact number, but I figured it wasn't going to be over 6,000. I think we should count them. them. We should count them. Are, you go ahead. Are they all edible? One potato, two potato, three potato. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Karen. They're all I edible. didn't even see that coming. I really must be tired. I, I did read, though, that they're actually not just in Peru and Bur Bolivia. They're like all over the place, but I've never yeah. found one in the wild. They travel. Um, mm. <clears throat> so number two, the uh, calories in a 5.3 ounce potato is 110. Wow. Oh. What was the number Whoa. I said? Oh. Hey, hey. Was on. I, I'm what sorry, was we I said 80 and I changed. I said 120. Isn't that, like, don't I remember saying 120 and everybody yeah. told me there's no way it's 120? And I'm like, it's 110. Yeah. Trust me, I'm counting right. calories. Yeah. I'm fucking feed <laughs> right now. They, well, they talk the, about the it. Menu you says no, I, but I was like, I know it's, I think it's 100. Plus or minus five is just incredibly narrow. Did they, did oh, they? Oh, Leonard, no. <laughs> they know it, you know it. Got it correct. <laughs> agree, correct? <laughs> they went right. with like 200. 30 or something like that. And I'm like, potatoes no, those are such 100. a good, good nutrient resource. See, so see? listen, <laughs> thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Mark, I, I, there's a recording. Thank you very Mark, much. There's yeah. a recording. Mark, Everybody Mark listen. Survive That's the very on Mars. Just <laughs> well, there's a recording of me talking about it, and they were like, no, no, <laughs> it's one of the fattiest <laughs> things you could ever have. It's all starch. Not unless it, you put butter and so I was going to say, ever use the, the words the bacon very, vets. Very amazing. That doesn't change the starch content. He registered that. Yeah. 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 They should be a part of that. Boy, who would think wow. potatoes would get us going? I didn't think that was a controversial subject. All right. So three, the potato relatives that are native to the Americas, one of them isn't, and that would be the eggplant. Yay! Hey, we got it right. I think most people got that. Finally, we got a point. Okay, so this is number four, it seemed like people were having a lot of trouble with this, and I was a little bit surprised, but um, two of the, there are two that I found that were said to be both economically and scientifically important, as well as the tomato is also a scientific, that studied scientifically quite a bit, but the two that are sold everywhere that are not food are tobacco and, and petunias. Now, I would, I would be, I'd be surprised if anybody thought of petunia because I didn't know that. But so you I weren't going to consider vodka a food? Uh, not today. No. <laughs> <laughs> vodka is not I a mean, plant. Bob you know, named petunia in our no, but it's a product. But what was the answer? I missed that. A tobacco, or if you guessed petunia. Uh, we went with the back Bob, Bob named vodka petunia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In our group. Thank related. you, Jamie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yes. The Mr. Potato Head game started out using real potatoes. Somebody spelled um, petunia. It was P -E -T -U -N -I -A. <laughs> Does anyone know? Because we were asking, did the original Mr. Potato Heads have a like wood or metal part rather than? No, plastic? I don't remember because I think I had one, and I, it was probably probably metal. Because yeah. okay. okay, so the game was invented or developed by George Lerner in 1949, and it was first manufactured and distributed by Hasbro in 1952. And mm. it was the first toy advertised on television. <gasps> really? Yeah. 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 There's a trivia cat question. Yeah, all these trivia things someday. I'm learning for future trivia. Yeah, yeah. I like that. So, so pedantic question, you just called it a <clears throat> game. Did, did you just misspeak or does it actually say that? Because a game needs a score or a No, of course toy. First toy. 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 I didn't say game. Yeah, it was, yeah, it no, was you, plastic well, parts. Well, well, listen to the recording. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Potato. First potato. Did the potato head game ever use real potatoes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it why was I a, that. It, it, was, a it was plastic game. accessories only. You supplied Faith your own is reading potato. all about it right now. She's got a virtual potato head game she's playing I think right now. And, and what happened, I think, was that the, the kids would like... I hope it is important head. looking out there, Faith. And then it they didn't smell. want to throw it. Well, they didn't want to throw it away because it was their little potato head, but then they get really awful when they get <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they started making them out of plastic and they were like a balloon, very thin. And then they put the 
sturdier mm -hmm. plastic and they put the compartment to store the things in the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's different well, levels of them. He would know. He's, he's, he's not Mr. Potato, potato Head. He's got a picture of him. Yeah. I mean, he obviously was, was in the Toy Story. Story. You know. That's the yeah. real Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. He's a big Kevin dude. knows all of the important celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a photo with them. Mr. Potato Head. Hey, Mr. Potato Head's going to die this week. Be careful. He might die this week. <laughs> Are we gonna kill Mr. Potato Head? The demise not, of Mr. Potato, Potato Head was Julianne to death. Later oh. Later. Oh. John Rickles is dead. Too. John Rickles is dead. Mashed. Oh my gosh. Okay, number. How about six. Bob Denver? No, we he's already, dead. He's gone. Still? Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the uh, mm. these toxic toxic substance in potatoes and plants and several of their relatives is a uh, solanine. Oh, thank you, Jane. Hey. Uh, Can you smell it, please? Can you smell it, please? Is that because of the uh, green uh, skin? Yeah, the green. Don't eat mm -hmm. the green skin. If you have a potato that got green skin, peel it off or get rid of it and get a white one. Give it to you somebody know. you don't like. What is? How do you spell the word? S o l a n i n e. Like I think you'd have to uh, eat an awful lot of C Y A N I D E. Cyanide. <laughs> no, it's not cyanide. It's oh, a yeah. I said arsenic. I said arsenic. Okay. Um, according to the Smithsonian Magazine, which this is an article I found online, <clears throat> the um, uh, the the there mm. were sorry, <laughs> the the year that hundreds of tomato recipes were available in local U.S. periodical newspapers was. 1822. Oh, oh damn. damn, we were way off. Any time between nice. 1792 and 1852. Yay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> way too late. Did we get that? Oh, yeah, we said 1850. Okay, good. Well, okay. So you're good. Uh, was that? Do you know okay. why that was? I, I was thinking is when maybe <laughs> cast iron pots. That was part of it. There, there was a, there are a couple of different things like in. Um, the no, they it was pewter in in England. Oh, that would you know, really pewter, pewter dishes, yeah, and they would serve the tomato things on these pewter dishes, and it would leach out the lead, yeah. and yeah. people would get sick from it. There also were like there are a lot of other potato relatives that actually are poisonous, and I think people, you know, kind of made the assumption that well, the tomatoes are going to be poisonous too. So yeah, it took a while for them to catch on for sure. Um, okay, the other potato relative with all the health claims and everything, I think I saw some people getting this was the is the goji berry. Yay. Oh, <clears throat> How do you spell avocado? goji berry? Uh, G O G I. It's not A V A C A D O. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's how I'd spell it. No, all right. Was okay, I on his team? <laughs> I had I had to do this because we have this saying in our family about the table. And I'm sorry that this is kind of an obscure movie, but um, anyway, the actor that plays the chief of police in this movie, which is, it's, it's got a lot of good lines in it. Uh, it was- Which of these uh, two guys is it? Is it, it is was it? Uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Paula. Good job, okay. Paula. Wait, <laughs> did I mention Clint Eastwood tonight? I sure did. He's still tonight. alive. He's still alive. He's in yeah. the mayor of Carmel. Well, he's, he spends all his longer. time talking to chairs. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but he, he is still alive, right? right? He's far he is still alive. Time is it? <laughs> still alive. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, let's mark the time. <clears throat> Deborah's okay. close enough; she can run down and check. I'll go check. Yeah, actually, I'll look up on the hill. I, I, I'm in Carmel. Around. I'm right. I'm right down. Oh, that's right. Center. Could you go yeah. check, Lori? I will go check. Yeah, give him a text. I'll check his pulse. Get a and selfie. Him tonight, so watch the news tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Lori's gonna. Hey, good night, you guys. Lori's, I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump off. Lori's <laughs> gonna feed him some S O L A N I N E. Soliline. The green potatoes. Bye, Lori. Eat the green part. Okay, bye. Lori. Okay, the number ten. The Irish potato famine went from 1845 to 1852. What was yours again? Well, not yay for the famine. 18 what? 1845 to 1852. Okay. So 1850, hey, we did that. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what we did. I'm impressed. Hey, Deborah, we yeah. came really close on the solanine. We said solamine with an M instead of an N. Yeah. Well, did you get it? Did you mean to get it right? 
No, <laughs> we were just really, we really, really close. Right. Or did you spell it? Did you spell it wrong? Oh, yeah, knowing the correct well. word, or did no, you put it down? We just, we just it. had it slightly <laughs> pronounced wrong. I don't think that's so close. close. I don't think that's because it's probably something else. Yeah, thing is a water soluble corrosion inhibitor. So no, yeah, it's an actual thing. I knew it had curses. Curses. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. by an M. Bonus, Extra. Bonus, bonus question. Okay, solo meal is an Italian song. Oh, son of me. Oh. I'm hoping somebody got this, but I wouldn't be surprised if no one did. Um, there's this program called the Wide Angle Search for Planets. And this star, which probably has another star name that's 17 different numbers or something, but this star is called WASP 103. And there, there's actually 189 WASP stars listed on their Wikipedia page. And the planet is WASP 103b. So, and it's capital W A S P, not like. Oh, darn, we got it like so close. Oh, well, we, we did lowercase. <laughs> Mm. And it's okay. and it's called egg shaped, not potato shaped. Well, you know, it's funny. I was a few days before I had I go, God, I think there's this potato shaped planet somewhere. And I went and looked it up and it, it, like a few days after that. And it had just been mentioned the day before. And they did call it that. But potato yeah, shaped. They did in the one. That's, article. Sil that's silly. I know. <laughs> And egg shape's okay. And it so, isn't so, really so, so egg shape implies one end is very different than the other end. Is that they the way were it lobbying? Really no, it's it's potato. it's so uh, it's it's an ellipsoid. <laughs> big, yeah, yeah. Big, big, yeah. Big, big potato, right? Big potato, big potato. Big egg. Really I was actually thinking ellipsoid is closer to a potato. They, they don't really have a picture picture of it anyway. Big but, it, but the thing is, it's it's uh, going to be very smooth, <laughs> yeah, not yeah, lumpy yeah. at all. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Well, it's gas. Yeah. So mostly, it's right? potato slash egg shape. <laughs> it's got <laughs> some attributes. I've, an egg. I've never, it's I've never seen it called potato shape. I've seen it called distorted. Are you calling her a liar? Or, or, it's uh, eggplant shaped. <laughs> yeah, not. Eggplant. You're not calling her a liar, are you, Leonard? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, saying what I've seen. She saw it. As it a was potato. Wasp it. Well, obvi <laughs> obviously, the scientific journals that I look at. Are different than the ones that Deborah looks at. They're led right. by Big A. Ninety-nine percent of the people that heard of this planet did not learn it from a scientific journal. No doubt. Really? <laughs> no doubt. I never. I would have never guessed that, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everybody knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Darn! Yeah. If we'd only put W A S P in all caps, we would have. It is the, the potato-shaped thing is is in quotes, so you know you can make one of that if you're, you <laughs> could it be you egg plant shape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So about, it, is wasp one hundred three a correct answer? Because that's what we put. If that's what you put, then that's the correct. It's one hundred three B. How the heck did you know the name of the star? The name of the star is wasp one hundred three. Yeah, okay. the name oh. of the planet is 103B. Okay, the B. Star. The star. Yeah, 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 star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put the B. Yeah. So we're good. Son of a B. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when when the planet was Getting discovered, weird. the star was kind of renamed WASP 103A, but its mm. original name is WASP 103. Did anybody yeah. else put Wolf 359? I oh, we put Beetlejuice, drama, Beetlejuice, like Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, we, we did Beetlejuice. Who knows? Useless to Was 103. The, they had all played all the hits when I was in high yeah. school. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 103. The first thing I thought of was it was the the radio station. <laughs> it does sound like a radio station. It does sound It totally like does. I, you think there's been a Wasp 103? But but getting back to Mark Watney, all I got to say is I wouldn't have lasted near as long because the minute the ketchup would have ran out, I would have just been done. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, no, I'd be bit better. I'd be done. I'd be like, right. no ketchup. I can't. I can't survive. I'm sorry. All right. All right. I think oh. he had no, no salt either. It's like, oh. Yeah, if there's no salt, give me a break. Well, I guess he could sweat and just wipe oh. it off. Oh. 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 Well, you want, he's already eating his own poo. All right. That's true. So... Okay. You need a little salt to cover up the poo. Don't they have salt on Mars? I mean, ew. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. But they had water at one time. They probably have salt. I don't know. They have chili because it's all red. <laughs> okay. Okay. The red is rust. Rust. Fine. All right. So let's get to the scores because I can't wait to see how you guys. You're <laughs> hit chat instead of hitting the stupid 
thing. Stupid thing. Stupid potato I head. All tens. Oh, All right. Yeah. So we <laughs> are out. so close. Look how close people are to each other. Oh, so close. All right. So oy vey, California. Yeah, 20 to 28. Eh? So close. <laughs> it is. What do you got? Team three. Oy vey. Four. There you go. There's four. I know. All right. So plagues, natural disasters, and death in the sky. I believe oh six. Good yeah. job. Good job, team. Okay. So then we'll go up here to the top. Hawaii at a tenth of the cost. Do you guys do the hula over there? Woo <laughs> we have eight. Wow. You're in Good first job. place right now. Stop the, stop the count. Stop the count. All right. Happy anniversary, Joe Biden. You got five. Well, look at who's taking the lead. So here we go. Today, anymore. Wool, wool, wool word is Susan. Wordy. Wordly. Wordle. Wordle. Stupid. Eight. Word. Eight. Eight. Stupid. Oh. Wordle. Wordle, wordle, wordle. Wordle, wordle, wordle. <laughs> Bob, I just have to say this to you. I've been thinking it all night. All night. When I look at you, it looks like horns coming out of your head. Oh, I noticed that too. I, totally that. I have been seeing that too all yeah, night. I noticed that. <laughs> uh, Rob is Rob has got them too. See, Rob's got his horns. See, him? I was in a Zoom yesterday, and I still had my um, Boba Fett background, and the way I was sitting. They thought it looked like I was sitting in Boba Fett's lap. <laughs> I'm like, it totally it does look like I'm sitting in his lap. It Thank might you. have been. All right. So James, 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 James. Okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, James, 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 Jim, 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 Jim. All right. This is a um, <laughs> category on contronyms. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm in the chat. I have no idea what you just said. Bless you. <laughs> Contronyms are terms that have porn? two contradictory meanings. They are their own opposites. They are quite rare. Uh, and a good example would be hold up, uh, either to support, to support, or to impede. Uh, there's a list of uh, 75 commonly recognized contronyms. Uh oh. And uh -oh. so go into your groups mm. and come up with uh, oh, geez. 10 of those. Well, can you write the word in the chat? Because I have no idea what yeah. you just said. I was <laughs> waiting for the chat. And and some, again, some of them are expressions. They're parts of expressions. They only operate in expression. I'm going to have to apologize to my team. I have to go. I... Oh yeah, thanks, Vincent. <laughs> Leave us with the wordles. I'm sorry. I can barely yeah. keep my eyes open. All right. That's up. Thanks. Bye, Vincent. Uh, Thank you. Okay, James, could you give us that example again about hold up? It's what? Yeah, put it in the chat. Yeah. So, uh, so hold up is in a single word. So this could be a, a, a phrase. Term. It could be a yeah. phrase also. Well, it's a term. Hold up is uh, used as a term. Term is often two words, two or three words that are used uh, at you know at the same time. So these could be well two or three words, uh, one two or three words then. Most of them are uh, one. So hold up, to support or to impede. Oh, okay. God, this is gonna cause some thinking. We're gonna have to it's, think. It's, I hope I'm on a team that's ready to think. <laughs> it's easier James, than you think it might be. James, is it possible oh, that's to be a, a single word? That. Is it huh? possible to is it possible to be a single word? Yes, yes well, most of them are single words. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, or impede. I'd give you more examples, but that cut your options yeah, down. Don't, no, yeah, don't do no, that. No. Don't do that. Yeah. There's a, there's we don't need 75, okay. 75. 75, yes. Okay. So, so mono rules. No, no. we'll get zero. Sure. Well, no, 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 no. I started to go there and I thought, nah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All righty then. Let alone it's going to take way longer to score. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. James, go ahead and um, send the stir rooms. Uh, oh. Mm. And 
it looks like everybody's how weird everything's assigned now. Um, Hi, help us <laughs> come on your team. I think I well you okay. Got Lori I think last I have time. one, <laughs> which is uh, literally because it also means figuratively. Okay. What about? I'm um, literally angry right now. But, or what about um, irregardless? Well, that just means the same as regardless. Okay. Like the idea is that it should mean both, like that it should have two opposing definitions to the word. What about fat? Like, oh, yo, that's fat. No, it's a different spelling. P H A T. Yeah. Hmm. There's 75 of these? <laughs> yes, I've got them right here. Uh, and uh, you will probably find them. What about you... fuck? Like, hmm? uh, like, yo, that's fucked up or. Uh, positive and negative meaning. Fucked up is like a negative meaning, but like, oh, this fuck. How about like bad? No, it's, it's, no it's, it's, but that's it's, a slang. It's, it would not be slang terms. These are at real. Yeah, you can't. Definition. Fucked up would be the term you're using. Like, right. but that could be something. Fucked up. Do you like? You could get fucked up, yeah. or I could like beat the shit out of you, or we could go get high. Yeah. Like have We're a term like that. So what about fucked up? But he's saying it doesn't have slang because otherwise bad would be there because you go, right. oh man, that's bad. Yeah, so these are okay. these are accepted definitions. Okay, it's not like. Uh, from yeah, Webster's yeah. dictionary. No, go like, somewhere, James. Like, go somewhere. So we yeah, go, away, go away, James. Go away, James. What about literally actually was like I remember the I remember when the dictionary actually changed the definition to include figuratively as one of its definitions. Yeah. How about like? Mm. Like totally. No. And that's like again. Huh? again. Oh, God, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> God. Um, How about giant shrimp? <laughs> that's an oxymoron. Okay, that's the wrong kind of thing. Okay. Um, Intelligent military, whatever they say. That's kind of what makes this hard. Is that? No, yeah. Um, is that it's not oxymorons. It's, you know, these are very specific words. Yeah. What about carried away? But are they words or oh, it's it's terms? Yeah, too. terms. So one, so to, one to three words. Used carried to, away to mean that something, an object, has actually been physically picked up and moved to another place, or how is that the opposite? I don't know. I'm just tossing stuff out. Well, we could put it down because we have nothing else. There. Um, yeah. Um, but. I, Exaggerate. The opposite. It can opposite or opposite. It has two a positive and a negative meaning. Well, yeah. Or it has it's a meaning, that, meaning. Is, that like it has opposing definitions, mm -hmm. essentially. What about buffalo? No, buffalo means it has that just has a lot of definitions. How about enough to mean a number of things that you have a quantity that's quite enough, or it also oh, means no. to be like what about that's enough as a negative, like that's but enough. No, but you're you're still saying that's enough of that. Like what about you're take still out representing the same idea? What about take, take out? out to take out the trash or to or bring something into the house? Like take, out. take out, like you I got, got out, take out. Food. That's slang. I got no, but that's getting takeout. Okay, that's slang. Taking it out of the restaurant. That's Do you where think the term comes from. who knows these things? This is right. Where did they get this category? <laughs> yeah, who does uh, this? Yeah, who I'm does? Looking, it? I'm looking here. He doesn't words. like us. Um, what about AT? No, ATM machine. No, um, fuck. Sit, sound. What about king? Like as monarchy king? is negative. Like the thing is, I'm sure this is easy if you're looking at the list. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you've what already looked conveyance? at the list, 
this is prob there are probably a bunch of terms where it's like, oh yeah. Unless you're a real word nerd. Oh, I bet you people yeah. are good at crossword puzzles are good at this. No, not necessarily. Yeah, because I bet the clues are a quantarium. Mm. Two words starts with C. Oh. You know. No, these these aren't gonna like I'm guessing that no, it is yeah, a crossword I mean, puzzle thing. Haven't you seen some of those suggestions that'll say to blah 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 or blah blah blah? And it's the same word. Sure, but that's you, not what it's about not dress down. Like you, what? Dress down. Yeah. Like you or turn down. Turn, turn down. down. You can you can reject something or you're turning down a bed. Turn down. That's better than what we got. Hmm. What about light it out? Like you, you know, you're burn, burning a building, but you're also like having a really awesome party. That's kind of sounds slingy. Yeah, that's true. You're lit. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not opposed to it because we don't got nothing else, but there are 75 of these words out there or phrases. Shake mm -hmm. a how about stand? You take a stand, or you can literally stand. No, they're not opposite. Or it's something that you put something on. Yeah, you can have a stand to put something on. Hmm. But that's not opposite. Yeah, I get the feeling. What about wise? Like, if you're he's gonna guy, give us the list, and guy. then we're gonna look at it. Wise, oh, yeah. wise, oh, wise might be good. What wise guy? Wise, wise guy could be a person wise who's guy. wise, or somebody who's a jerk. somebody who has wisdom, or somebody who is just being smart. Good one, Romero. Yeah. yeah, that's back on the track we're looking for, right? Yeah, definitely. How about page turner? That would be a book that you would. No, has no. Because what would be a negative? Well, yeah. is it always? It isn't. It doesn't mean negative. It just means opposite, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not necessarily negative. It's just it opposite. Has two, so page turner book that, that you're trying to get through fast. Opposite of itself. Ghost. Ghost, like I ghosted, and uh, but then that's another that's another slang. Is ghosted slang? Yeah, yeah sort mm -hmm. of. Um, but I think like <coughs> like to turn down could be. Yeah, it's it's something that there's an. He's saying it has an opposite meaning. Yeah, opposite, not necessarily negative. Yeah, it's. Like, yeah. What about yeah. ironic? Have they changed the definition of that? <laughs> Sounds clever. I don't know. Um, after after you said wise guy, remember I thought of uh, Einstein. You know, good job, Einstein. Yeah. yeah. How about let's go, Brandon? No, oh god, this is, so this, this is so fucking hard. This is really hard. Way to go, Marie. Tired for the Nosey. What about loony? Like uh, a loony bin and a loony this is funny person. Like loony mm -hmm. A loony no, is a person who's funny and goofy, and he's a loony is also. What about um? No. No. What about invent? No, envelope, envelope. Two to three words. Let's think a little bit. On the way. Mixed up. Mm. I'm going to take a glance, see if anybody's done. <laughs> Nobody's done. I can't. God, room four has got one, two, three, four, five people in it. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe three, four, five. We had, we had two who left. Brian Kirby and, and Isabella both left. Yeah, early. room one's only got three people, but it's Leonard, Robin, and Jamie. So. Mm. Light. All. And it's not light because that's something that's spelled differently to light something is yeah. light. light. idea illuminate illuminate what about run up run paul run up like you uh you're running up the stairs that's your it's not a phrase like you're actually that's the whole thing like you don't you're you're putting two words together that not, not necessarily are an actual and you find in a dictionary Dictionaries just have words, right? They don't have phrases. Or do they? No, not all the time. Like chick flick is actually in the dictionary. Yeah, there's some it's like, an actual, like, yeah. it's a defined there's, word. There's lots of terms in the dictionary. How about illuminate? Because that means like to have an idea or it means to, to. But they're not to, but it's. They're not opposite. It's not, the definition can't have two opposing meanings. So like. Uh, I liked Looney. But what would be yeah. like to be, but you would say Looney to be crazy or to be sane. That's what it, what you would be looking for. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't ever use the word Looney to mention that somebody is, in, is sane. Um, I was thinking goofy and then insane. They're sort of, no. James, you're not well liked in this room anymore. Because I think there was one. I was looking up something the other day that could have. Yeah, this is this is very hard if you haven't recently looked at the. <laughs> list. This is getting close to lighthouses. <laughs> oh, that's one of the rooms is already back. Very well at it. Yeah, one, one of the rooms is back already. Room two. They gave up, maybe. Oh. Maybe they gave up. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely at that stage. It's Ben, Karen, Carl, and Paula are done. Oh, of course it would be them. Um, Nickel. What about timeout? Why well, is that the opposite? Well, because sometimes when there's a timeout, you're pausing. Oh, uh, James left the. Left and when the there's sometimes there's a timeout that you're actually having to wait amount of time. Well, so put it down. Maybe. We don't have anything else. Put timeout put down. Out. Put stuff down. Maybe it's maybe we're just not thinking of. Just put stuff. Yeah, put How about time. stuff? Can stuff be the word? Mm. You stuff something, and it's also full of, and stuff could be a thing. It's an action. <laughs> what is a thing, Susan? Well, stuff can be a thing. Um, you put stuff in, and you stuff it, so it's stuffy. <laughs> I'm going to start getting really weird. I'm going to have to leave the room because I'm not going to make you guys be able to think. <laughs> I'm going to start getting yeah. goofy. I mean, I'm tempted goofy. to just go goofy. back at this point and just be like, yeah. But okay. We have five. We have five. I think Louie and Goofy and Illumination. Illuminated. Illuminator. We'll put it there. Put it there. Illuminated. <laughs> How about Californification? On there. No. <laughs> put porn on there. I, I won't, but okay. The I actually know porn can have one. I'm not going to put it down. Porn can porn. have one. Well, no. Porn. No, it doesn't. No, rule, it has one meaning. Rule 23. What, did, what rule is rule it? 34. Rule 34. Rule 34. Go Google Blue Waffle later. Just no. go Google Blue Waffle. There you no. go. You'll have fun. I'm, I'm telling you, if porn has a. Yeah. It, it does not have an antithesis. Antithetical name. It does, it does not now mean because of rule thirty four. The opposite it does is not mean there. that it's something that is not like that is not some not way pleasing. related to gratification. Hmm. It, it basically <laughs> well, it basically means something that's pleasing. Well, yeah. um, well <laughs> that's a colloquial term now. Yes, but yeah, like when you look at food porn or you know nature porn. Yeah, art that's porn. like that's also like slang term. Hey, that's music. better than the, the 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 blink you have. There. But even then, even then, it doesn't have opposing meanings. Like, 
So like I'm saying it does because whenever you say it, then there's always the opposite is there's porn of it on the Internet. So if there's porn, there is porn of porn. So it's the opposite. Well, of course there is that. But like that doesn't mean anything. That's not the opposite. That's just meta. Uh, meta, meta. You mean that's like, like, meta. Term. That's like Facebook? The same idea inside itself. Who watches the watchers, you know? Humor. Humor. What about dust? Dust? Like, like is is uh like you're you're dusting someone or like you're dusting like you're oh you know, yeah, just, dust. Just fucking dust. stop. Just like fucking dust. stop. To dust something is to put dust on it and yes. also to oh, put it you're using a verb and then you're going to a noun fucking stop. No, I like it. No, I think it's good. No, think, because uh... you can dust I can dust something with sugar and I can also dust something with a feather duster. You can That's remove dust, oh, or you can I'm add dust. I'm his dark materials. Like, oh my god! I think it's a good. I think it's probably the it best does. one on here. It's one of the better ones. Hurry up, god, what, did, what did they talk about in the mini Snicket's books? Like, Faith, remember? Oh, I love all those lemon oh, Snicket books. I like give definitions. I have them in my other room. To turn out a light bulb. Lemon. Oh, 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 oh! Like Amelia Bedelia. Like, she uh, says, "Draw a, a curtain." Form. And it's also like good for margaritas. No, it's yeah. limes, man. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Draw. You can draw a curtain. Remember Amelia Bedelia? You draw a card. You can draw no. a curtain. You can That's draw. Just, yeah, a, again, like, we're just getting to multiple definitions. Not no, well, no, no. They mean the same thing to to put we out. We don't need them to mean the same thing. We need put them out to mean the opposite. To mean thing. opposite things. Listen like, to me. Oh. You put out a light and you can put out a light <laughs> outside or you I know my out, ability, I know my or you put ability. out you kick out you get rid of you you, you can dress away. you can dress a turkey and you can dress a turkey with a little frills <laughs> so you can dress it <laughs> I mean the, those are those are coming these are books the that are the these same. are fucking ridiculous yeah what? we're getting pretty ridiculous here it's, it's Amelia Bedelia and she used to do those kinds of things. They play on the words. You want me to make a sponge cake with real sponge? <laughs> when you would, you would, you would um, put out <laughs> or turn out. I, I don't. I don't mind put out. Fine. That's, okay, I'm gonna turn out. It's yeah. fine enough. I like at this point. Oh, we did turn down. Put out. We need one more. We need one more. I think run up would be one. Run up is a stupid thing. In <laughs> How about run? Because you you could physically run, or you could run. <laughs> physically, <laughs> Jeff can't think. I can't okay. think either, and I'm trying. <laughs> what about think? You can think. Think, or, or you, you could think. think. <laughs> Arrow's an instigator too. How about pink? <laughs> pink is a color, or pink is a not color. <laughs> what about miasma? Of incandescent plasma? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miasma? Of incandescent. Or it's a miasma. How about umbrella? <laughs> no. To have an umbrella term or an umbrella that <laughs> drop can <gambit> close. <laughs> this is this is Jeff's thinking face. <laughs> He's trying to concentrate. <laughs> He's taking this seriously. Uh... What is your score? <laughs> We were in third. Yeah, we're in third now. What about crash? Like you crash a car or like you crash the drum set? Or you crash. Oh, you break something. That's exactly what it is. Or you could say um, break. How about break? No. Yeah, break. What about break? Like you take a break, I'm resting, or like you break something. Yeah. Aren't the opposites? <laughs> no, if you break something and then you... um. 
I think it's a stupid category. Name. I don't know who came up with contrariums, but this is a stupid thing. Contronyms. I, contronyms. I think, I think it's, it's contrarians. Uh, it's an okay category. It's just very difficult. It's very hard to do it when Especially you can't. Whenever I'm like. Yeah. It's very hard having not, like, again, having not recently looked at the list. What it's about fair hard. weather? What is that? Because it can generally mean something. Oh, the weather's bad. Or well, can... if you have a fair weather friend, they go like. Fair weather is good. Fair weather. Yeah. I, 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 also, fair. I just like the term fair in general. Sometimes fair means good. Sometimes fair means bad. Well, let's put fair like, it, and then the let's put fair weather fair and take out, take you know? out. Uh, dusting. Take out oh, dusting. No, dusting, I think is perfect. We'll take out loony. Take out loony. Okay. Put fair okay. and then put fair weather. And watch okay. loonies on there. Okay, <laughs> I think I think we should probably go back before we get too loony because yes, I think let's we're go already... back before... oh, too late, too late. All right, bye guys. All right. Good job, good job, team. Yeah. Oh, well, well, speak, speak of the devil. There she is. Speak, speak of the angel devil. in this case. Speak of the devil. What did I do? <laughs> this had to no, Rod is the devil. To you. Oh. I had to reboot. Yeah. So. How did uh, the rest? Of, how did you? How did your room do, Susan? My room. We had a laughing. I had well. I had a laughing <laughs> fit, and and that really. And then Romero got involved, and Romero and I were really teasing everybody. And Faith and, and Jeff got mad at me because <laughs> I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> Jeff was trying to concentrate on a speck on the wall. <laughs> and oh, basically, because you guys kept out. saying Looney is one of them, and we're like, no. We and got, you were trying, yeah, to just trying to tune me out because I just didn't take it seriously at all. Because this is you <laughs> didn't, and actually, I just looked up some of these, and we rationed our, rationalized some of them correctly. Me and Jeff, not you two. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, I guess, there's no team in that uh, comment. Mm -hmm. There is no. What, team like, that what if we do run because it can no, mean run up. run up, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look up this. You run up word. a bill. It was a stupid, running up stupid a word. Contrariums. Contronyms. Contronyms. Contrariums. I've just changed the Contronyms. word. It is another contrarium. Is a contrarium. Can we have a category of Susan's made up words? She <laughs> generates new words okay. all the time. What? Brutal. Yeah, the song right. Manny. You remember the song Manny? Big hit. Yeah, right. you know, Manny. <laughs> All right. Made up songs. I got to look up this word. Okay, this is ridiculous. All, All right. Room ridiculous. This, That's another one. Put us out of our oh, misery sure. here. <laughs> yes. Alan. How are you going to score this? Just give us a link or. 75 uh, words. No, say the words and James. Oh, will my gosh. Yeah, you just. Uh, re read off your uh, words and uh, I'll tell you whether it's good or not. And if it's not on the list, but it meets the definition, then, then I'm looking at the list. Oh my do, gosh. Do, do, you have, do you have them alphabetically? Yes. Great. Go for it. One person from each team. So let's go with the first team. The person with the lowest score is Oy vey, Californification. Eh? Okay. Just read your name. The names off, and I'll tell you if they're good or not. Uh, you're, you're, you're muted. muted. You're muted, Jane. I'm muted. Maybe, maybe it's just as well. <laughs> uh, bad. Bad. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bad is in what? It's not on there. It's not on the list. Okay. Stupid list. Pretty ugly. No. Wait a minute, why wouldn't bad be on the list? Because it's it's I'm slang. bad means I'm good. You're using a slang to slang. And that's slang. Usage. It's not slang. And did slang. you uh, did you explicitly uh, forbid oh. slang? Yes, uh, he did. Oh. And he said it had to be on this list, and it's not on the list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then he said if it doesn't fit in the list, but it fits the... Uh, it fits <laughs> the uh, I didn't hear that. Okay, James makes the I call. Heard, I, I heard that. No, it's bad. bad uh, not accepted. Uh, That's grammar. a bad answer. So Michael Jackson yeah. says, who's bad? Yeah, He's not no. talking about a bad potato. He's certainly not talking potatoes, about we're back to <laughs> So okay, what after bad? What do you have? Pretty ugly. No. Why? 
Jumbo shrimp? Nope. No. So they're just oxymorons. Yeah. Yeah. We tried that. <laughs> okay. Dust. Dust. <laughs> Good answer. We picked that too. Yes, Romero. I'm glad I took it off because y'all put dusting. No. It's Nothing fine. Good. It's the same thing. Same thing. We put the verb form, which I, is what they are talking about. Let Jane go. Jane add, yeah. Ice. Ice. Ice, and how would you use that? <laughs> is no, it in the list? the list? No, it's not on the list. No. You just say it's right or wrong. Don't just... Yeah, don't <laughs> you don't have to ask. Overlook. Yes, that's on the list. Hey, no shut mm -hmm. up. All right. Ooh. Uh sanction. Yes. Ooh. And the only other one we have is force. Or sanction's a good one. Yeah, force. sanction's good, yes. Force is not. Sanction is really good. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Hey, we've moved up to last place. <laughs> That's all I have. Uh, next group. That would be. That would be. Plagues, natural disasters, and death from the sky. Okay, in alphabetical order. Bone. Bone? Yeah, it's not on the list, but that would be a good, I can see that would be a good word, yeah. Thank you. What was that word? Bone, like the bone of fish? Mm -hmm. Or to put bones into a fish? Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. That's a Woody Allen joke. I, I, oh. <laughs> well, I don't want to know what Woody Allen's putting bones in the face. Raise. 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 Raise, Raise a bone. R A Y S? Bone is slang. That better be yeah, a yeah. So how is, how is yeah, bone, bone shouldn't be on the list because it's, it's not on the list. If you if you make a corset and you put the you bone it, you 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 put the boning in. James said it was okay. Shut up, yeah. Susan. What's the opposite? <laughs> <laughs> but it's gotta have an opposite. Raise. We're nine down. We're nine down. It's an unlisted contronym. Raise, raise, raise a bar. Uh, raise the, or the raise house. the house to the ground. But those are two I've different words, and they're spelled differently. Spelled differently. They're spelled differently. Yeah, yeah, it's spelled differently. That didn't work. Inflammable. So we rejected that one. Yeah, flammable. I think it's only one because meaning. flammable so, and inflammable are two words oh, that mean the same thing. Inflammable, you said. Flammable, flammable, and inflammable are two different words that are constructed as opposites but right. mean the same thing. Mm -hmm. But that's not what a contronym is. Yeah, that doesn't mean right. That. It's one uh, word that means two different. Okay, P pitted. Does it flam? What is it? Pitted. Pivot? Pit pitted, as in a pitted. You pitted. Pit, olives are pitted, but it could mean yeah. it has pits, or you took the pits out. Okay. Yeah. That's on the oh. list. I've list. never heard that as a verb. Quantum but, leap. Quantum's quantum. On yep. Yeah, quantum. Yeah. On the list. Okay. Uh, rent. Oh, you're giving it to him now. What is it? <laughs> rent. Rent. I yep. rent my apartment from somebody, or I yep. rent my apartment right. to somebody. That's good. Okay. Yep. And we also had sanction. Uh, shelled. Also, as like you shelled. Uh, so yeah. I'm not. Okay. It's not on the list. Stupid list. Strike out. Rent. So, strike out. Strike? strike is strike is on the list. Yeah. Strike. Strike. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And la and last table. Which yeah. told me yeah. something different in the UK yeah. and the US. Yes? Right. Cool. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Well, um, okay. How many did you get there, Rob? Eight. 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 Wow. So show wow. us you guys what you guys got. So that was eight. How many, Jane? How many did you guys get? Three. Okay, I'll show you guys the score in a second. So, Good job, team. let's go to happy anniversary, rent, Joe. Rent so, I already went our through team. our words. We got yes. three. We got literally, we got dusting, we got put out. Where are literally you seeing what? Where are you seeing the list? I don't see anything in chat. If you literally Google contronyms, there's a list of 75 contronyms. I'm 
from dailywritingtips.com. Go through the other ones just in case we might have one. That's the last one. Let's game fun of okay. telling us. Uh, carried away. Carried away. As in, you can be doing something for too long, or you can actually be leaving. Um, but they're not opposite. Yeah, sure. I'll allow that one. Oh, oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, Ooh, bad. That's bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think you should just go with the list. To be honest, <laughs> just to not too, too too late to change that. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. New strategy. Um, Kiss up to James. <laughs> but judges' decisions in, in the, are always final. James okay, rules. Uh, James rules. We had, uh, we had a wise guy. Because <laughs> you could be wise. It's an oxymoron. Or you could be an idiot. Yeah, a wise guy could be an idiot. Nah, um, nah, doesn't mean, doesn't, doesn't mean an idiot. Um, we had... How about the word character? You have character or you are a character? No. Uh, no. That's um, opposite. We did, we did have fair. Huh? We did have fair. Fair? The idea of like something can be fair as in that's a fair decision as in a good decision or something can be fair as in fair to middling as in bad. They spelled the, are they spelled the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're not are. opposites. No. Yeah, they're not opposite. Well, they have fine on the list, which is the difference between excellent or acceptable. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I gotta, uh, I gotta give you yeah. that one. We're gonna take that one too. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that fine example is a. We got uh, ten then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think those are the ones we could reasonably say fit the bill, mm -hmm. and that that puts us up to five. Bill. Although. Bill is another one. Bill is a word. That's Bill yes. is a word, but we don't actually have Bill on our list. No, okay. figures. Didn't come up with it. Okay. So how many did you get? Five. Five. All right. We got five. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay. So Hawaii at a tenth of the cost. Uh, Leonard, do you want to be in charge of this? Or do you want me to? Uh, you have the list. I don't. Okay. I've got the list. Okay. Are we allowed to count puzzle? Because that was the example. Puzzle's there. Okay. Puzzle, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got to get that one. You can let it already come ahead. up with it. Yeah, it's on the list a problem or to solve one. Well, well I was okay. giving them an example and I threw that out because I thought no one would get it. And Leonard said <laughs> I was going to use that one. <laughs> okay, so we ha we we figured out seven that were on the list, which is apology, bolt, quantum table, handicap, literally, and puzzle. But we also put um, Aloha and Cheers. And shalom, which aloha <laughs> means hello and goodbye. No. It's hello and goodbye. But that's a that's kind of the same it, concept. It, 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 what about ciao, it. baby? Oh, it is English word. That's I gotta English. give you aloha. That 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 would fit. But that's well, not that's not I English. No, that's all the other it's ones are English words. Greeting. Well, she 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 about ciao. When you pick up the phone and say ciao, I never say ciao. It's to decide. Who says ciao? People say Everyone that in Italy. When they pick up the phone, goodbye. some German. <laughs> okay. Now it's James's call. Aloha, I will accept. But then, and you know, yeah. it's so clever. It really I is. did live four years on Kauai, so <laughs> my, my, my <laughs> perspective is skewed, but not Chow. Okay, so, I, I think we like have aloha though. It's huh? just a different yeah. language. It means hello and goodbye. Just yeah. giving it, it doesn't. Up. It means love, like shalom means peace. Oh, it's used for that, but it means peace. So, did you guys get eight? Oh, I think we've got eight. Did, did you did you say literal? Literally is on the list for both. Albums? Yeah, we have literal. Yeah, oh, we have yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it also wrote over that one. Figurative I despise when people, people use that literally word. Literally, the yeah. worst thing to happen to the English language when they change the meaning of the word literally. <laughs> Bob, I just used it correctly a moment ago. So okay. And then the things that we had that weren't on the list, we said get down, meaning no. like, and then we said That's mad. Like, get down, yeah, get down. It's not really an opposite. Get down, okay, get down, boogie. Okay, it sounds like we're, Ill we're illiterally. <laughs> All right, so the team that was that ahead, today's <laughs> word, word is Susan. Um, 
I already checked what? them off the list. But I can read them, them off if we need. Say the words. Rock. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Clip. Out. Dust. Weather. Fast. Oversight. Sanction. And cleave. Wow. How many is that? Very Where's good. Ten. I, I don't get some of these. You got 10? Yeah, we got all 10. How is Rock? Jesus Christ. Well, you can't get all 10 because there's 75 of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> all 10 available points. All, you all you literally got points. all there are. If we're speaking literally, of points, yes, we I got just, all 10. You literally got all. If we did Mono's <laughs> rules, that would have, who knows? Oh, God. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that would have made it impossible. Jeez. So oh, how, is okay. rock, how is rock? Please, somebody explain to me how rock, rock it says an immobile mass of stone or figuratively similar phenomenon yeah. or a shaking so, or unsettling guys, movement. Can I, or I, I, got it. I have to go. Can I have to go? How is that, 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 that opposite? How is that opposite? Can I is stupid list. It's in rock my as in, This is literally vibrating. the stupidest list I've ever heard of. <laughs> rock, rock is, you rock a cradle <laughs> or a rock is solid as a rock. Oh, because you could rock a item. Yeah, you could rock something. Or it happens to rock a rock. That feels like a stretch. Not opposite. What happens if you make a cradle out of rock? Can you rock a rock? Yes. Yes, actually, you can. Rock, rock, rock around the clock. Rock, 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 rock. Exactly. A moving mass of stuff. With Karen's skin was on there. With Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, skin was on the list. Yeah. Skin uh, to cover uh, or remove. Was been on Bill. Oh, I like that. On there. Yeah. On there. Yeah. Would you accept for an invoice for payment? That oh yeah, because you could skin a plane. <laughs> right. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, so you're I the, think you want to see the final scores? Doing... Anybody yeah. want to no. know what the final score is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No one. No one's interested in, except the uh, <laughs> the TV win. Except the win that got almost all tens. Yeah. Wow, look at that. 10, 10, 8. Holy 10. crap. That's yeah. a really high score, you guys. You're not in last place. place. Yay, not in last I've place. Been on, I've been in some quite a few last place teams. Recently, four so four that, I'll, I'll take this win. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Timber wins 46, and we got 38. Not bad. Not bad. Respectable second place. Third place, second. we're average. Did we I won the golf game. Is Carl always Ooh. on the winning team? I don't know. Yeah, Somebody needs to get statistics he's, on that. He's on it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just well, because we keep having unsure. science fiction things. <laughs> no, he's yeah. good at trivia. No, he, he yeah. <laughs> okay, so next week it's gonna be um where do I have my score? Oh, it's over here. Next game is Rob Faith. James, Carl, and Robin. So everybody but Carl, make sure you come up with stuff that Carl would be horrible at. <laughs> Carl, what would you be horrible at? Potatoes. <laughs> Lighthouses. You want an honest answer to that? <laughs> Tomatoes. There, there is, there always Hawaii. I bet you he doesn't know anything about Hawaii. Yeah, he just watched a documentary on that last night, so I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't I think he did too, too sure. well on his home state. So let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Middle names of people on the team. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. Or um, yeah, no, that you get the bonus points if you get mine because mine's in Korean. Oh, Nigerian football <laughs> players that are left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take off, you guys, because I'm gonna walk my dogs. Take off, eh? Good night, Robin. Good night, Robin. Robin. Walk right. your dogs. Hey, hey, Robin. She's walking a dog, and, and she's walking to her bed. feet, which I call dogs. <laughs> Would that work? Walk your dog. There you go. There you go. Sorry, James. I not thought it went way over my way. head. No, it's not. All right. Speaking of dogs, fresh. would you have accepted taking a dump? Because they're not really taking it, they're leaving it. <laughs> that's another common <laughs> joke. You don't take one. You leave that's it. another that's another that slang. Slang. Did you take the dump to the dump. It's slang. That's a that's that's a very sophisticated question, God. <laughs> we'll have a lot Colin of it that a joke. contemplation says, of that. You don't take a shit, you leave a shit. Aren't you aren't you glad? Aren't you glad this is being recorded? But you <laughs> sure as heck don't want to give a shit. Yeah. Don't give a shit. Uh, give a shit. <laughs> yeah, it's... Boy, we're going to get so many views because of this. Exchange. I can't wait. 
Hey, make sure that you watch my video because it's about to go viral. I don't know no, my <laughs> other video. I'll put the link in here. I'm putting the oh, link in here again. Man. So we'll end yeah, Nobody watches these watch things to the entire end. They watch them for a couple seconds and get it. Oh, this is hand. your uh Oh, Problem with Club. It was a hey, look, it was at 381. It's at 484 wow. since, since the last Susan, time. You need to say a word all the time. Somebody sat here and turned it on and off. Yeah. While we hey, no. Well, there's only been robots watching. You could, yeah, you could get a robot to do that through Google. Hey, hey, hey. It's two o'clock. There's hardly no, it's it's only been one person making all the comments. No, because they're interested and they're sharing it with their friends. That's it. My apologies, I'm going to guys your own person, but you just mm. regardless of stopping these scammers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Thank you it's two o'clock in the morning. Are you all right? Being, are you being an Elvis impersonator? No, I went and I was re responding. Thank to you. Quotes. Thank you very much. I was responding to the to the, <laughs> to the one person who's written three comments, and I'm answering them because I'm just that kind of person. And politely, no doubt. Actually, I am. It's a me. It's a person who says they have psychic abilities, but still thinks he's an absolute scammer. Because apparently, you've never actually looked at YouTube comments. So. Oh, I do. I read them and I respond to them. All right. I'm I'm that kind of person. Like I said. All mm -hmm. right, y'all. So I will see you next week, okay. maybe next Wednesday at the virtual thing and Rob's talk. Rob's talk. And then sure. right afterwards, it would be the virtual. Uh, Barry skeptics, skeptics in the book. We could just take it over, you guys, and we could just tell jokes. So <laughs> inside uh, joke, jokes, jokes about about so is that this leaving Wednesday? a dump. This upcoming Wednesday coming up, mm -hmm. and remember, who is it who hasn't? Who we're sure isn't dead? Clint Eastwood, <laughs> Trump, and Donald Trump, Trump. 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 Joanne yeah. Woodward. No, Woodward. don't say that name. This is like at church. We used to give up names for who you were supposed to pray for. This is like the opposite. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's all Peggy's fault. We and it has it. the same effect. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good point. Oh, really much power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it has exactly the same effect. <laughs> exactly. Well, all if right, you list guys. 100 people, the odds are someone, one, you know, old celebrity will die. That's how you. Shush, shush, yeah. shush. We have the magic power here. We, ha we You don't realize it, but after 90 games, well, we figured out the formula. Somebody named their team Billy Joel is still alive, and he still is, so he made it through the week. Yeah. <laughs> Just barely. Wait till we start concentrating <laughs> our, on our it. Our name was, has anyone checked is that Billy every Joel's week? Still alive? It'll work. If we he, see he, Billy Joel still is. alive. Yeah, yeah, he is. Billy Joel had a heart attack. Heck, 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 heck. Oh, we, 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 we also mentioned oh. Clint Eastwood. Oh. You guys got to go. All right. Good night, all. Good night, Good night, Good night Susan.